most active in the map, and Umpty is generally a player that would like go top lane for a gank, try for a gank mid lane. He's just trying holy to get shit. His lanes going. We're back. That is going to be a way that really messes the the I guess the tone of the match for FlyQuest. One last thing, I think you never know what happens when you're in LCS final with rookie mm -hmm. players. You know, you don't know how someone like Masu or Boost is gonna handle it if they lose first game or two True. games. You know, yeah. Sure, Jensen and Inspired and we've both been here before, but you don't know how they're gonna react if they're down two zero, backs against the wall. Will they, will they tilt? Will they you know, feel the pressure, be scared in game three? You never know, right? So it's important to <laughs> talk about like how the first two games can be so important for the mental of the new okay. players. Even Jan is not in the final AP, is not even in the final either, right? Alive? So mm -hmm. it's very important. Really interesting dynamics with both of these teams. The experience of Impact and Core, yeah. and then the three younger players, yeah. even Umpteen. Nice. And then yeah. you have okay. a similar thing with the top side of FlyQuest. I was live. Their rookie bot lane. You can see... The countdown but it just the wasn't showing my stream is on perfect Fly quest versus all right let's see the the whatever it is in I think while the series was close, it should have been our side of close. Well, when they outnumber you, they usually play very quick, very decisive, and they play well. But once you have equal numbers... <laughs>
to the Word Alive! Thank you, Will. Welcome to Grand Finals! <laughs> it's time for one team to prove themselves and rise as LCS champions. It's FlyQuest versus Team Liquid Honda! <laughs> Starting off, it's your first team All-Pro top laner in his first split back in the LCS, going up against the five-time LCS champion, Whippo versus Impact! <laughs> Roaming the jungle, a former LCS champion and MVP, challenged I mean, it's just like, look, my problem is that whenever they do these, like, musical performances, the crowd is never into it because the crowd is never here to see, like, a musical performance. The people that go to these events, they just want to see, like, two League of Legends teams play against each other. So they always do some musical performance that, like, no one showed up to see, so no one's actually into the performance. Everyone's just sitting there quietly. You see, like, everyone's just sitting in their chair quietly, and, like, the person's, like, rocking out, like, trying to do the performance of their lives, and everyone is just sitting there. Waiting for it to end, and then afterwards, it's like it's always like some rock or some EDM or like some like rap or something that like no one in the crowd actually fucks with, and they just like kind of like politely clap, and then both teams just awkwardly just walk onto the stage and just stare at each other, and none of the players are like looking hyped or anything. It just feels like so weird to me, man. The first team all pro. Because the dynamic of it is so off. In only his third split, challenging the face. Of Team Liquid looking for his first title since 2019. It's Bootsio versus Core JJ. Grand Finals is about to begin. FlyQuest versus Team Liquid Honda. Are you ready? Isn't getting anxious. I mean, just watch any of the, yeah, just watch like any of the performances, just any of the live performances. It's just always the same. I do have some history with Team Liquid. Obviously, super salty about the fact they benched me. I still am. I think the players they hired were strictly worse than me, but hey, I'll get to prove it to them now. Watch out! Watch out! Yeah. I agree. I was this close to winning the championship last year, and um, this close again has been like a goal since well, I was younger, like 14, 15, 16. Right. I mean, so it wasn't that it's, close. It's living my dream, so I don't want to like squander that opportunity. Bro, Impact is so solid. Impact might just be Denzel Washington because he is equalizing Cloud9. And for the second split in a row, Team Liquid will deny Cloud9 their opportunity for international competition. And Team Liquid is going to finals and going to MSI. It would be the first time in my career that I would have won where I felt like I was a large part of that team's success. I feel really nice to be the first five players to bring the trophy to the organization for the first time. Charming Yankee in the line, gone flash backward, but the resets are pouring in! The arrow from Basu! To be completely honest, Black was in our last match got lucky.
I want to win the LCS one, three, more than ever. And he's already two, won three, twice. He's won the two, world four, championships, but he's two, here five. for this matchup. They got a forfeit win. Really, really wants it. Well, I think it's so important for oh, yeah, they're, I think they're five and five. You know, this this seems right. It's probably after week five. Not Dale exactly Rogers. sure. They won four times in a row. It was uh, the it was so analyst Bon Quish, and it was um, been all about core. his name is Gerard to Kelly. That's to lead them to that title. And I think Core JJ has stepped up and is a big part of how Team Liquid is looking so much more <laughs> ferocious. So one thing I immediately right. want to talk about here is you can see the Ziggs ban in this first round of bans from FlyQuest. The last time these two teams okay. met in that first playoff series, the two Rel wins Ziggs that Varus. Team Liquid got, Kalista, both of them had APA on the Ziggs. Ari and also Oriana. To note that in that series, okay. Team Liquid banned out Oriana in every single game. They would not allow to hover. All right, They're what are we first picking? Allow it's 14-5. Do we just go Senna? So those mid laners taken out of commission along. We just go Senna, Nautilus. Alright. Nautilus locked in. First pick that Nautilus. I was thinking it's definitely gonna be snapped up there by Port JJ. Um honestly though, Team Liquid's bottom lane with how fearsome they've been. It really still draws so much attention to APA's champion pool. You mentioned the Ziggs ban. He, he does have other champions to go for. The Talia was permaband versus them, mm -hmm. uh, versus Cloud9. And they're actually going to lock that one in. Okay, lock the Talia. The Talia for jungle is Vi for do they take away the Senna and then go something like Senna TK? Or do they not care? The combo with the Ziggs, guaranteeing the Generally with Talia, they'll they'll be winning. Talia, they'll be willing to play something like Zyra Khan, really even into Nautilus, I would assume. If not, they can just go like variations of poke lanes which are all up you can always go ash if you really want it smolder is still live on the patch okay they're scaling is it just senna or is there anything aggressive they want to play into the smolder because i mean it'll probably end up being something like smolder brahm but yeah i mean i think you're down to like i mean i don't know i would be down to play something aggressive here Largely, though, we haven't been seeing that much success from Smolder in playoffs. We've had a really good game here, a really good game there. But Isa. The most of playoffs, it has actually been falling in priority. People have okay. really not been putting the emphasis on it. I'm down with it. New style I like the Kaisa. Scrap at every turn. This doesn't really suit that. It's so weak in the early game. And to calculate it, Is it Quay here for Jensen? Because, I mean, they banned out mid laners. He could go Karma. They were fighting. I think you should be you could be fine going karma here to be honest they're gonna be the ones with the bye okay so they want to be able to kill the um smolder with just multiple ults on his face i just what i wonder what jensen's gonna play with this because jensen doesn't play a lot of like dive champions so we'll see Whippo does though and maybe throw an olaf in here I assume it will get banned though. You know, traditionally he's playing more Senna, Paris, longer range stuff. We're gonna sit back. You need to be aggressive. You need to be going in with that. And we've heard people talk about it. You don't know how the rookies are gonna perform in this finals with all that pressure. All right, what we gotta ban mid lane here then uh, for Team Liquid. Try and ban out Jensen a little bit uh, more. Protect this Talia for APA. The Oriana is always a no brainer versus right, Jensen, Quay. But he's I don't know. Also Zillion, bro. I don't think you want to play Zillion into Talia. A very similar style champion. Me, like, hmm. I feel like Karma will just be banned too. They'll just make sure they ban out all the mages. And then what does he play? Azir's is, uh, no, it's, Azir's not playable. Maybe a Renekton ban? Yeah. I, I'm down with a Renekton ban. It opens up, like, Bwipo, um, Olaf, and things like that. We'll see what else they decide to ban. Where's Fantix? Just kidding. It's interesting, though, because Teal is on red side, right? But that's something that Impact will go towards. You know, he is one of the players that does get some criticism on red side for not being able to use that counter pick as effectively because yeah. you kind of know what to expect from him. And generally, he's going to go towards that style of champion, regardless if it's blind or if it's kind of And if FlyQuest don't ban away the Cassante, then Impact will happily pick up a Cassante because you're already looking at this Smolder. You just want stuff that can peel for him. Uh, Cassante definitely can do that as well. And it's so versatile. There's grand finals under 50k views. It's over, bros. Bro, the, they haven't even got into the game of game one. They're 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 not even they're not even done with the draft of game one. We're already viewer ending before we're done with the fucking draft of game one. Oh my god, that's crazy. 
I respect it. Like that's some true haterism. I can get behind it. That's been the only one that he's been kind of going towards, and he did have a really good game on it yesterday. The Udyr has kind of fallen by the wayside, but that's also something that he had a lot of success with. If you're talking about late game scaling, you know, just play back front line, protect this yawn. Oh, I don't like the Wukong here. Yeah, go Volibear. Like, Wukong would not be good. All right, is it just Karma? Or is there something else that Jensu can play? I, Kar Karma is the standard pick. GP, I feel like it'll just be Olaf Karma. Because I feel like they just want things that can dive. I would assume it would be Olaf Karma. They could also just go Aatrox, to be honest. Aatrox would be fine, I think. We are going to get the lock in here for Jensen. We're going down kind of the list there for those long range. Oh, Urgot just out of nowhere. Okay. You got nothing. You got nothing to actually answer this pick. And that's why they leave the Cassante open because Urgot ultimate, you can just delete For what reason is. They're an Urgot here. And showing his creativity. Well, and Urgot was really popular for a while early on with Holebreaker because it can actually prop with the W. The Holebreaker prox really. Why finals really in the studio it. instead of stadium, really money, and viewership thing? Genuinely curious. I mean, I don't know the actual reason, but I'm sure you could come up with things that make sense in your head. Like, I don't know, why is LEC always in the studio? Seems like this is the direction that Western leagues have taken. For a reason. Urgot beats most everything? I don't know. I never really minded a lot of the... Uh, Tank matchups into a top. I, I wouldn't mind playing something like Uter into um into Urgot. I like the matchup is fine. I think you could also play like Jace into it. If you're capable of playing it. It's a fine matchup. Um, yeah, like Rexai into it. I think you can get away with. I think I think you can pretty much play any of the the tank champions that are good in the meta right now. What the hell is this Urgot? It's the Whippo, bro. It's the Bwebo Urgot. They got inspired by Cabo Shard. Nice. I think they watch... You think they watch LEC for inspiration? That's why his name is inspired. Ah, makes I mean, sense. I, mean, I think I'm gonna be the first person to say, to say it. But whoever watches LEC doesn't watch LCS. And whoever plays LCS doesn't play... doesn't watch LEC. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I think when I was in LCS, I only watched G2 games. That's it. <laughs> Damn. And I can tell you, when I was in LCK, I didn't watch LEC or LCS. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and then when I, when I was in LEC, I think I watched the same games for fun. Because then uh, me were playing. <laughs> DSM Legends, baby. Bro, like, LEC is on like 3 a.m. in, in Korea. <laughs> before this was actually Bufo himself in the LCS back in 2022 before that the last person to play it was Alpha. don't stream for us so we can sync with you brother all right oh it's full of the Kaiser right the muscle relax it Kraken gains no what is it Kraken gains terminus that one yep I have also seen Kraken Navori into LDR this type of build too I mean I think this is a game where you're just sending it right you're just sending it over and over on the the smolder, one guy ults him, he gets eaten, then the other guy ults him, and you pray. I kind of like the, the, the Storm Razor. Uh, no, not, not the Storm Razor, sorry. The Lightning Bolt item, Zeus. Yeah, yeah. Ginzu and fucking Nash's Tooth build. This is solid, this game. Lightning Bolt item, what the fuck are you Shiv. Lightning, Shiv, Jesus. <laughs> Wait, what do you guys think about the live performances? Like, musical live performances for finals? I... Yeah, I think no one has experience on their orbit. I can tell you, I was at World Finals 2018, and that was some of the sickest shit I've ever seen. But yeah, yeah but the Korean side, I think, carried it really hard. You I was like, was pretty fucking insane, but yeah, I mean, that's like an outlier for sure. <laughs> I mean, I remember they, they were singing Rise, right? And they were like so out sync, they were... Uh, singing pretty bad then there comes bobby that guy the fucking rapper he was like smurfing on stage for free <laughs> no, like that guy has a free thing he was smurfing like i hope he got paid bro <laughs> I, 
I mean, that guy has insane experience, you know? Yeah, yeah, no, like, so, the, so like the game of stars are fucking... Yeah. yeah. KDA, KDA as well, like, there was one thing. Yeah, KDA was insane. I got to see the rehearsal, that was amazing. <laughs> but I like Blue Side Drafted a lot, I, I think it's comprehensive, cohesive, I like it. I think I think Ergo can actually pop off in such a game. I think Kesant is not like powerful enough on five here. Yeah, I mean, it's worth for free. I hope he gets paid. I know I got it now. I don't know. I mean, my experience is like I don't think the performances are bad. I just feel like League of Legends community does not want a live performance. None of them like know like like Arrow just sits there awkwardly. It just feels so strange. They are, they are one of okay. the least efficient This feels very awkward to watch. Whole game. They, they are actually quite I, I think that uh, yeah, like the bigger spectacles and uh, when they create it visually beautiful for the people yeah. watching at home, I think those are sick. Like, I think yeah. like the Giants one, 2019 oh, was oh, insane. Oh, Q3 oh, from, from Impact. 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 Damn, Impact is legit. True damage, no? True damage was also good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. The Giants, like the, uh, that, that performance was really good. And the Phoenix song. Whew. The Phoenix song. What was it? I, I don't remember it. Oh, man. Yeah, um, Umpty is running across the map top, bro. He's sprinting. Oh, never mind. Ah, so everyone likes fleet on Urgot. Yeah. Yeah, when did Umti base? I didn't spot that. Why, why does he have this inventory? Uh, I don't know, bro, but like, why are we ever base, basing no? for that? Three camps into base, is it, bro? Yeah, the three camps into base. I mean, the whole point of this is to buy a longsword, brother. <laughs> it is by shoes, you know? Yeah, that's just such a fucked up base, bro. Oh my god, please, the base. The, 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 the four glowing moats. Bro, I'll be honest, like, I swear, even if you have the money for glowing moat, you should just never buy it. Like, it gives the enemy team too much confidence. Like, if I see the enemy jungler has this in its inventory, I feel like I've already won the game. You know, the only champion I buy these as I'm on is when I play Smolder. Yeah, I, I buy three Smolder. of them. I buy three of them instead of buying boots. So I get the AP from uh, Dark Seal. I don't know. I buy three of them. I have my 15 ability haste. I, I don't have to buy boots. And then I buy Warhammer, Shin, uh, and Yuan Software. <laughs> my god. Wait, my, your mic is fucked up, Jizzy. Nice, he, uh, he based now and now he can't afford Tundler. <laughs> yeah, he can't. Oh my god, it looks so good. <laughs> yeah, it's like too close or something, Jizzle. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, it's better now, I think. I'm feeling the Flyquist win today. What are you feeling, Dominator? Yeah, I'm feeling Flyquist win. I think they're better. It is it is interesting though because both of these teams had the performances of their lives against C9. Maybe C9 just brings the best out of people. <laughs> or maybe C9 just sucks. Like, who knows? <laughs> Wait, well, is he top already over with his base? Yeah, I mean, it seems hard. Is that actually the correct base for Surgot? Is it just to see his fleet? Because I remember everyone used to go Warden's Mail. Like, they changed it, I think. Didn't they change something about it? And not make it as GG? You've got Kaisa under tower. Not sure. No, Warner's Mill is still fucking rough. That's, yeah. That's not a full they made the rock solid buff uh, scale of HP. Wait, it's a fight, I guess? Pass it was a flat. Oh? What are we getting here? Bro, this looks so weird. Like, Kaisa's not even what there. The fuck? Can you guys get the fuck out of here? Wait, what? Why, why, why are they fighting this without Kaisa? Oh, and uh, Karma just missed Mantra Q. Cool. What the fuck? That was pretty int. Bro, you feel like this is just the smolder desperation? Or you're just like, damn, like... They, they have smolder, bro. We can't give first strike. Huh. And especially in the early game to turn on just one side of a pincer movement and the the additionally the the thumbnail is not like the bramble is not bad because the cull tech is pretty op on fucking yeah he actually heals so much it looks like he's about to fucking soul kill him with this bramble yeah bro this he's looks a little nice. fucked up i am be honest <laughs> i mean I, the thing, I think ergot is a strong champ but he really needs to reach certain breakpoints, and if he's stuck at the wrong items, he's just useless the whole game. Yeah. We are fucking dead, like, stop it. You have no beats, you're dead. 
Just stop it. <laughs> ABA has tempo from base. Jensen will base now. Like, you are dead. Next wave, you are dead. That's a please, uh, Impa, don't, don't, if Impa doesn't hit now, or next wave is dead. Like, this wave, Talia has free push. Karma is in base. They should run top. There's no way he's not basing, no? Okay. That's, I mean, it's not a good time to base, bro. It fucking sucks. It's a Ruby Longsword. Uh, yeah, bro, like, this is a horrible base. Oh, he has a phage. I mean, it's still a bad base, I feel like. I mean, but Impa, to be fair, wait, is that no matter what? Who's Freddy, right? Oh, okay. Ah. Uh, I, don't, I don't understand this. Why Masu doesn't commit ult? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, and then another look after. Yeah, just go as anyway, fast as you can. But anyway, Impact really wants to secure these uh, Void Grabs. He goes to ward. He should just uh, stay lane, push no matter what, and uh, try to make I mean, Wurgot uh, stay. It's overly safe to go to Void Grabs. I mean, what? Like, if if Bwipo is going to Void Grabs, if Bwipo doesn't base there and then goes to Void Grabs at 300 HP and they win the game, like, well played to him, bro. Like, GG. We can FF. <laughs> well so do I'm the TFTP mid. Yeah. And this is generally, you know, because uh, anyway, they have tele advantage, right? Uh, uh, Karma is in base. I don't know. It sounds like a plan to me. I like this TL the solution. It's elegant to send Talia bot to catch that wave. And that's one of the reasons that Jan has has been one of those guys to get such fast paces here for the 225. Yeah, and it's also just common sense whenever you do have someone who has to go base. Bro, we got to bring back tournament side, format. You just rotate a little bit over and you kind of do the... Hey, it was so insane there, in like season two. Tournament system timing, where you're just playing like a different one, tournament every two weeks in a different location. Uh, it was so hype, was like, cool. he, I mean, everything is a live event, you know? Like, you're always playing versus, like, with a big crowd. Like, the smallest crowds you're gonna be in front of are, like, a thousand. That shit feels pretty hype, I don't know. Seeing all your homies get fucked up drunk after the event. Yep. Yeah, no, it was just a whole experience, bro. Like, I felt like Season 2, being a pro for Season 2, was more of an experience than being a pro for, like, the next four years combined. I was like, we, we, like, barely none of us made money, too. So it yeah. was like prize money we hope we get. And like a lot of the contracts that were signed, it's like, you get travel paid for. Yeah. And that was hype, dude. Okay. I think that this is after show. I mean, it's free, it's free, it's free. Yeah. When Smolder is diving, you... Wait, what's happening to the tower? Eat this guy. I mean, the tower was hitting him. That's not gonna kill, no? The, f the ramped up turret shot? I don't think it's doing 500. This is just it was to be the safe. fourth tower shot. Yeah, I mean, it's ramped up after the third, right? Hmm. Wait, last series, Bipo got solo kill like 10 times, right? Wait, which one? Bipo got solo kill 10, 10 times the last series, no? He had lag and fly. Uh, I don't remember, bro. Like, he got solo killed in like weird ways, though, I remember. He wasn't gonna stay there, so if he's not gonna stay there, maybe boost uh, <laughs> Yeah, the Rumble one as well. The Rumble against, uh, what was it? Oh, he's so close. Bro, Legend Turgot yeah. should buy tier in this matchup. <laughs> Wait, so we blinded Urgot just for them to pick a tank, and the tank is just completely fine, even CSing? Is that. I mean, I know Urgot scales, but like. I feel like these conditions are not good. That's part of the matchup. Nice. <laughs> Let's not pick the matchup, bro. <laughs> just, just believe, man. Come on. Bro, most, most matchups go like this. Like, when I was playing, because um, we have a bunch of, like, Urgot one tricks in NA. We have, like, this Quant guy, and then we have uh, another guy named, like, Yegus Beef. And, like, there's a bunch of, like, Challenger Urgot one tricks. And when I was playing Udyr into them, it was super free to play Uter into these champs. You just get some armor. You just W. They can't ever break you. I mean, they they like kind of scale, but it doesn't feel like they can really like push you out of lane ever. This shit looks the same exact way. Trust him, but I don't trust him. I think that this is just going to be a TL win. Maybe I'll be wrong. Must you? I'm going to shoot you. Malignance is balanced. You think Karma's dead on this patch? Mato 14-6. I thought so, but it really isn't. Okay. Like, this is 14-5, right? Yeah, yeah, no, but that's what I mean. Like, because 14-6, people were still kind of playing it. Yeah, yeah, no, we saw it in LPL. 
Like, I mean, it looks good. Mean, Even today, like, Nuke, like, had that fight, right, where he popped off when he hit spells, so... Yeah. Oh my god, they missed the smite. That was kind of lucky. Right, but they're already losing fights. Okay. Oh, oh. insane from Impact. He's so good. He doesn't even ult, bro. He doesn't even waste the ult on the guy that's guaranteed dead. No, oh, we have an RTP for top. That's really bad. That's really, really bad. He gets three plates or four plates. Those tower plates, they're not even done. They get an extra flash. Those tower plates are answered by even more valuable ones. Well, at least he doesn't have uh, ult breaker. Otherwise, it was full tower. Get a bunch of extra kills. Get the dragon. Hey, Gaff. Berlin internet. Oh, my stream dropped for the first time here. Hold on. Nice. Lucio's gotta be a little bit careful, you know, Thank you, three deaths out of the nice. war all on him. First time stream died. Actually, Gilles is here, I didn't realize. You're not talking, brother. I was laying in my chair. What happened, Tom? I don't know, the internet went out. What? Yeah, bro, I thought you said it didn't go out for two years. Never goes off, Nice, bro. I'm telling you, bro, I've never experienced a stable internet. That's crazy. You cursed, you cursed, bro. Roll, so you can yeah. Up the punching bag for your opponent. I am just cursed. You are meals on wheels. If the team you are just cursed. Behind, all right. You are making sure the enemy squad is eating good. So, so cursed. Well, 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 seriously, going to have to focus up here. Oh, this game really good with you. More more this, this game looks so on. Up oh, looks giga one. Just about as the turrets are ready to expire. Yeah, we'll stole Drake too. Inspired didn't smite it. And we do have that rift hero getting ready to summon up here in the top side river as Umpty takes control. That's a shitty ass Drake too. Actually, that's do a P junglers counter volleyball whatsoever, like Lilia and stuff. No, no, no. No, no, I don't think so. Our dispatches Q is a bit too OP. Yeah. Yeah. It feels like you can actually get on those types of champions. Like you don't get kited the same way like Uter gets kited by even more Ilya. So, it becomes kind of useless because usually you're an ult bot. I actually have no what idea the... what counters Volibear like on 14-5. Like when I was playing it, it like there was no matchup I played that felt like it was actually bad. And Volibear was just the highest. I think, I think the was a good shout, honestly, like as a decent matchup. Yeah, Udyr? Udyr? Nah, was like whatever for Volibear. Like, Volibear is just like your different champs, right? But... Mm. I was thinking about why mid this game and the pigeon. So you deny Vi, Talia? Because you pick it? And then if there is some counter in the jungle, so it's... They should do so you get mantra, mantra pulled on back when you hit the big monsters so we can jungle Kama for no reason at all. I'd be down. <laughs> Actually, OP. <laughs> Does he count for every minion? So Rich is the easiest camp ever? <laughs> Rich and Golems, holy shit. Okay. Reflash. Remember there was a, like, there was season 3 EU LCS and this is when everyone, like, thought Diamond was the best jungler of all time, right? Like, Diamond was just the, the go Diamond procs and there was one week where he just started playing Karma jungle for no reason. It wasn't even good and everyone picked it up because he played it and then like everyone just dropped it the next week because everyone realized it was horrible it was so useless it was so useless but because diamond played it everyone was just like oh we have to play it like it's br just broken you could like heal off camps right yeah you could heal off camps like the buff didn't do anything champion was terrible i mean the whole meta was just like yeah he has no flash with that Oh, could be dead. Oh, this is so good for them. Oh, Inspired hey, is no flash, he's just dead. Oh. Bro, this game is fucking lost. Bro, APA yeah. is like holding his KDA to art. <laughs> oh, Q3? Oh, what was that? W from APA. <laughs> Bro, APA is like... <laughs> playing full range. I'm not dying today. <laughs> I remember uh, Spirit, Spirit was playing uh, Lulu jungle. I was playing like dynamic for Q with, with Spirit. He's like, uh, I'm like, yeah, I'll just pick Lulu, just ban Azzy. I'll play Lulu mid, like Lulu mid was OP and uh, it was my specialty. 
I was like, oh, oh I'm, le I'm like, oh, I'm leaning against Victor. I can win this match in the prologue. Okay, I'm Lulu. It's like, yeah. no, no, Yamaro. Let, let me, let me be the Lulu. I'm like, what the fuck yeah. are you saying? He's like, just pick a carry. I'm like, like, bro, you, I'm a coach and you're a spirit. <laughs> bro, why would you do this if you want to? But win? he was, he carried me as well with Lulu, and anyway, he was a carry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just in feeding. Ah, Jensen is just dead as hell. He is just super dead. Just jumps at him here with a oh, nice. Bro, I feel like APA could play this so much better than he's playing it. Uh, Inspired is no flash, by the way. He's just dead, too. They're, they're just FFing. Like, this is the fight where you know that they just don't want to play anymore. Nah, but holy shit. Bro, they're getting just clapped. Is, is TL just the best team in North America? Yeah. Very nice. Not related too much to the gameplay, but earlier I said I like blue side draft. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking when I said it. It has nothing to do with the gameplay, but like they are playing Karma Vi as a pairing and they're playing into fucking Amkench. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. That's a bit fucked up. Alas is saying that this is disgusting from somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Zuke would type. He would type nonstop. That would be the the fortieth thing that was typed. I remember there was one game where you're ending. And you're like, fuck off. You're like, fuck no. off. What the fuck are you guys doing? <laughs> like, and no. you're just ending the game. You always misin misinterpreted this. Okay, the story is we failed to end the game one time, and we just fought randomly. And uh, insanity, I think it was. Insanity says something and said, uh, please throw again. I'm like, fuck off. We're ending now. <laughs> so that. <laughs> this is crazy, bro. Totally, I would want to see out of flame with Jizuki and all chat. I want to see what happened would have happened. Wow, oh, he actually got two chains. Core JJ had no ult, right? Yeah, yeah, it's just bugged. Okay, yeah. The core of Tom, or Tom, man, Masu is just getting his flash blown so dry over and over. Well, but. Well, at least the flash. Flyquest is that since they're so far behind, they have objective bounties up, and Jensen did get the top side objective bounty on the tower. Yeah, but these guys that cannot scale, the game is over already. Yeah, yeah, game's over. I mean, you're playing the comp that needs to like be ahead, and you're mega behind. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck happened this game. Like they did nothing. Like this Talia free farm. I don't know. They're really scared of core JJ's um, situation. Was just game losing. Yeah. I really got dove on both and then it was JJ. Oh, like this, the combo, Core JJ, Tom Kench. Okay, Lupo's joining the death squad. <laughs> like this matchup bot, you can't play to all in Perma. Hello, bro. You lose? Like, I don't understand. I think, the, the, I mean, they're so afraid of the Nautilus from Core JJ that they picked it, but I feel like this series you should just first pick Talia. Like, Jensen's best champion is Talia, and it's like the only meta mage that Talia, that um, APA can play. Besides for that, he's just playing like Asol every game. Like, Ziggs is banned here, so. I think you just go for the Talia every time, first pick. Let them have Nautilus. Pick like whatever you want into it. Pick like Rel or whatever. I, I, I legit thought to would just pick uh, Karma Zenzao with the note because the enemy, but then it's very hard for the enemy to just slam Tom and you should always find an AD to pick with note. Like you can either pick a scaling AD, you can pick Kaiza. You can pick so many different things. Uh, I thought they were just picking things out of They were putting together some of the most. Oh, they are just FK, so, so boring. And in this game, they are actually FK. Really yep. Not contesting anything. Ah, well, they're trying to contest Drake, but they can't. Like, they position that. Uh, we fight? Yeah, I think we do, right? Well. <laughs> it's fine, guys. That's fine. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fine, guys. Like, I, I don't like when, when teams, like, overly cope when they're losing, you know? Like, you have to, like, be able to address what's going wrong. Uh, I just see sometimes like somewhere is saying, uh, can we fight this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> How do we fight? <laughs> no, I just feel like some teams they like no one like wants to like tilt other people on the day. This might be an NA thing, but no one wants to tilt anyone else on the day, and you just end up like in a loop where like you're not making the changes you need to make because you're so afraid of like trying to like criticizing your teammates who are actually the problem in the game. We have the system 2016 splice. Hmm. 
So basically, we, we had like a fucking one, two, three, four, five system that we went through in order to like decide how we play the game. It's like, can we contest through mid? We contest through mid and decide. If we can't contest through mid, we contest through side. If we can't contest through side, can't contest through mid, uh, we we have to farm. If we don't outscale, we have to freestyle. And when the game was hard, we, uh, the homies were like, okay, guys, we have to freestyle. <laughs> Let's trap in this bush. Let's yeah, see what happens. Bro, Jensen is getting fucked by impact here. Okay. Right, he's dead as hell. How long for uh, 225? Oh, he this couldn't get it. He, or got ulted. This Vi is not having a good time. Yeah, no, the Vi is suffering. I don't know, man. This is FlyQuest freestyling. <laughs> I like what people say, yo, uh, let's make them sweat. This game is fucking hard, but let's make them work for it. Let's see what we can do. Oh, let's trap them here. This guy has no flash, let's try to kill him. And then Lulu out flashes, you know, your Haley comes in, tries to find an engage. It's fine. We go next. Oh my god. Karma looks useless, not gonna lie. I mean, all five. I mean, yeah, everything looks useless when you're down like 7k gold and make perma bad decisions, right? Like, I guess Nautilus looks useless too. Kai's looking fuck, bro. Everything is useless. Let's just not pick champions. Fuck it. We play Dota. Like, all artists play this champion, by the way. Like, fucking build Malignant, or Yazan Focus, Crit Bloom, and do damage. And it's just a useless champion, bro. Yeah, very useless. Your spell does uh, 600 damage AoE. Yeah. You get Malignance, you go to like the second or third Drake, and oh my god. The one Q QR, and then it's like the enemy team is like, alright, we can't contest. Yeah, by the way. Even with that, it's like. Team Liquid, they are smashing them. Spawn's not even reacting. Inspired just the worst Western jungler? Yes, he's just terrible. He's just terrible. He's completely muted by enemy team, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's talking into the void. I mean, last time Jensen didn't mute him, he was talking back, bro. <laughs> he, he talked some shit after in the interview. He's like, it's really weird when, like, the worst player on the team is doing it. Like, it's very awkward when <laughs> this guy is, like, talking and he's just, like, by far the worst player on the team. <laughs> when he said that. Yeah, yeah, he said it in an interview. Yeah, he's like... <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> yeah, he just let him know, bro. He's like, you are terrible. There's a squad. He was trying. I don't know, honestly, if he Kaisa and Karma, this game would 2v8. I don't know, bro. I don't think anything's 2 v if you could test that Drake the way they did. They're ending and the game, Vi aren't they? Not be Vi. Um, oh, he's so good. Hey, right, GG. Hey, they got fucking stomped, bro. That was a fisting session. Rip Masukidi. Holy. That was crazy. Well, he just got absolutely fucked. Yeah, actually, Impact tweeted this. This is gonna be the fastest uh, NA final. Wait, did he history. really? He just dropped a wonder. <laughs> no way. No, 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 he did. <laughs> okay, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've told you guys what Wunder told the said to the, to the gang before we faced EG at Worlds in 2022. Uh, what did he say? He says, uh, guys, I want you to know that I have impact completely on farm. I'm like 13 and 1 against them. There's no way we lose. <laughs> Wait, who said this? Wunder. <laughs> and did, the, did you guys win? Yeah, we won, we won. <laughs> God damn. In the early we run with the Rux. Oh shit. And that's what everyone what is, is like, Rux is the GOAT, bro. What, should he just play during the group stage? <laughs> let's send in, let's, let's, let's Rux play against EDG bot lane. Yeah. One bot lane. <laughs> and that was literally the conversation. C9 like, bot lane. This was actually just the, the conversation. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Well, it was, yeah. <laughs> Let's separate the bot lane that has played two years together. <laughs> Are we going gym tomorrow? Uh, if we have time, I'm not sure. Depends on how long LPL is. 
I feel it's 3 0. Leon is benched. Yeah. I mean, if it's 3 0, we can go. If it's 4 1 or 3 1, if it's four games, we're probably fucked. Four one. Dom knows something. Nobody else knows. Yeah, it's match fixed already. <laughs> what? Huh? You're not beating the delegation this time, then. Yep. <laughs> I rigged it. I'm the kingpin. <laughs> He's betting minus 3.5. <laughs> From Daredevil? Oh, that would, no, that would, that, would, that would not hit then. If it was 4-1. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> like, uh, that would be just a losing bet, Yamato. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. Ah, uh, shit. I'll be down for best of seven. Same. Let's make world finals like a best of nine. A best like, just of make nine? It, make it a best of five, but you have to play seven of them. Make it, make it like uh, NBA Finals, a best exactly. of five every two days, and then the first team that wins four best of fives wins the series. Yes. That would be so sick. Bro, they could do it in the same amount of time that it takes them to, to do Worlds anyway with their format. From what I've seen, ah, shit. we've talked about all split long. Is okay, okay, Sven, we get it, man. You have very smooth legs and you have Yeezys. The last series we Ooh, legs, bro. What? Look, his well, legs look smooth. Bro, I'm, where? What are you watching, bro? I'm not watching what you're he's watching. He's wearing some tight pants. Hey, bro. Are you meat watching? That's bro. He's covering his meat right now. He's hiding his meat. And one time, Kenji will be safe. Meat watching. I just feel like FlyQuest. If they can't stomp lanes, they can't win this game. But they don't have winning lanes. So what are they supposed to do? Yeah. Nothing, what? I guess. <laughs> nice. Umti plays <laughs> on Brian Blade for his whole life and comes and wins those years. That's what I said, bro. He's a career 30% win rate player. He's lost hundreds more games than he's won. And he came to LCS and he instantly won a title and he's going into internationals. Nice. Ah, Umti? Or what? Yeah. <laughs> he, was, he is one of the most amount of losses. He is. I mean, he's probably has one of the worst win to loss differentials in terms of games in the history of LCK. Like, who else has played that long for like six seasons and just lost that much? That'd be interesting to see who has the lowest win ratio of all time. Like, in contrast to the game's play. He's got to be up there. I mean, he's got to be up there. Globally? Globally. Globally. Like, who's the player who's always there, but just loses? <laughs> Gilius? No, I'm just kidding. I have no idea. Maybe I'm actually the gold of the West. You are 49 and a half, I think. 49 and a half. That's not bad. That's fine. That's my idea. That's, 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 that's actually pretty good considering the teams you're on. Your Gragas is 67% win ratio in 40 games. I am. How about your Zach? Your Zach is 80%. Holy. <laughs> Five games of Zach against Caps. Look at my Rex 7 red Yamato. How do you check that it's a Rex 7? 0 8. Games of Legends. Because especially when they want for the knowledge from Team Liquid. 55%? That's so bad. What? Wait, why? I don't remember ever having a negative win loss. I guess maybe 2019? Yeah, Vitality maybe. 2019 Only summer, only summer. Because spring... 42 in summer. I mean, in whole year, 42% win ratio. Really? Ah, because of summer, I guess, yeah. And the playoffs, because we lost three or whatever. rough. Yeah. Yeah. What is Flyquest pick? And then... Wait, who did you guys lose to? Did you guys lose to Amazing X? Uh, yeah. No, yeah, I mean... we did. That was insane. That was insane. That was insane. No, it was with Mowgli. Mowgli Skarner, you forgot? They know about it now. Yeah. I think the biggest thing also for me was um TV where yeah. he could take advantage, right? But wait, Cassio, remember? I uh, oh my fucking god, man. Holy shit. Uh, 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 no, but it was, oh, wait, against, that was uh, trick it says. Who was that against you? No, wait, wait. Amazing it was uh, in uh, 2000. Uh, it was against Schalke. I, I know we played against Schalke. Because we lost. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, and uh, they went to finals against the uh, Why does it trick? I remember it being amazing. Uh, you're talking about 2018. We lost against Schalke twice. You remember uh, 20? Uh, yeah, 20 we played against you. The summer was when we did the Cartus strat. You remember? It was yeah. like Ignar, yeah. Rick. Yeah. Bro, I forgot that Abadage was actually No, somebody said this in my chat. It's crazy that like all the rookies, like humanoid, Abadage, Larson, like when he came into the the league originally, Nemesis, like you used to just have a bunch of young rookies, and now like every rookie that comes into LEC is like Sokin 26, like for Scowy, like 24, 25, like Zwyru, 25. Like the age of rookies have just gone up because of uh, yeah, just like the no promotion and shit. Wait, what what age is Jackie? Is he's the only like? Yeah, he's probably young. Authentic rookie by that metric. Yeah, pretty much. 19. Yeah, Jackie's is young. Cover more ground in the key He's played since 2020. Bro, I retired at like 26, bro. Like that was the end of my career. It was 26. Wait, who was the rookie mid except me? Oh, Kadre, I guess. Kadre was mid and self. Wait, didn't you just raw dog Kadre? in 2015, bro. Wait, Jizzy, didn't you just absolutely raw dog Kadre? My first game on stage was against Kadrel and he did the thing on Malzahar. The Malzahar. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it was my first game, I went 7-0-7 seven, seven on Rise. <laughs> Completely yeah, you, you literally nine. made him retire from the role, me, how does that feel, Jizu? Bro, me and Gilius were permatop, we were dubbing Smitty J. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the <laughs> <laughs> Dude, uh, me, me Gilles Capo completely 3v7 the game, like... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> like, I, 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 don't know, I don't know what happened, but I don't even want to know, but I just know that I don't top three times. We 2v2 two, two them two times. <laughs> Actually, yeah. I, It was Santa Rain, we fucked them so hard. But motherfucker Gilles stole my solo kill on top. Like, I was running down Kidder. Actually, I have to find it. I remember I, I was solo killing him on top, and then he comes with a jar of one, pew, right, e, e, and he stole it. <laughs> yeah, bro, it's the best feeling when you get this success, Java. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you drop like a flag in a fight, you just have five assists, you look at your scoreline, you're 2-1-19, and 19. you're like, okay, yeah. this is the Jarvan game. Dude, who was in their right mind at this time, like, you build the QSS for seconds, mother? You're both wrong. <laughs> my, my, my items are QSS tier. <laughs> Man, are, are we serious right now? You had to, yeah. Wait, did you do the same at the world, you remember? You had you led blank with... Uh, I wasn't... Yeah, was it yeah. Love Chapter? No. Did Love Chapter exist? I don't think so. No, no, I want QSS first. Uh, I want QSS first. Didn't I have like a component? I think Sapphire Crystal, maybe. <laughs> No way, bro. You didn't go Sapphire Crystal into QSS. That can't be a build. What was the recipe of Morello back then? The Lost Chapter didn't exist, right? 2018. Maybe it did. <laughs> oh, yeah, it did, it did, it did. I'm um, seeing uh, Kadra lost it. Ramus. Ramus is the correct answer. Well, I can't find the... Wait, so they won the, they won the CSGO Major without Simple in the roster? Hold, hold up the SSD. Wait, is this, this is CS2 or CSGO? This is CS2. CSGO is no longer played. Wait, so CS2 is like, is it much different or is it the same thing? I'm not so sure. But Simple hates it, apparently. Oh, really? Uh, so what does that mean? He, like, is it's that much different? I, I, my understanding was that he had like visa issues and also he doesn't like CS2. Oh. So he's benched. Wait, like you have so the goat is just like uh, on the bench in that game? Yeah. Like basically you have to relearn all you aim. Like I oh, watched the uh, I watched simple and I watched Donk, if you guys know who's Donk. And oh my fucking god, like every they, they complain every fucking round. <laughs> mm. Wait, the game is a bit worse, people are saying? Nice, so they made a new game but made it worse. Did it like revive the player base? Did more people start playing it when CS2 came out? It was fucking bugged at start. Now they fix it a bit. But I can say the only experience I have is that I sold my CS skins for a lot of money. It's like 40 minutes because of the hype. 
They have a <laughs> team pump, but like instantly engage. I've learned from Pokemon, Pokemon card yeah. trading. I Always like sell the hype. One of those two like instantly flashed in on my team, and we instantly lost the game. Um, I think I learned a lot from that moment, just like for myself. So, yeah, like that's the most like. Oh, nice. Ne like, really Nemesis like is playing mistake. Stardew Valley. Those are other mistakes, though. That's what he does uh, is in his spare time. Bro, I watched him play Dota the other day. It was so fun. Bro, I kind of want to play some Dota. I, I kind of want to play a new game. I think I've like, I've lost some passion for just grinding solo queue. Yeah. I just don't have a goal right now in solo queue, you know? Bro, I would love if we like had a challenge. <laughs> yeah. You know, we just piece together like a challenge. Yeah, I, I would love like, if there was like say. a reason to like play, but it's like, I'm not like, I don't think I have time to go for challenger in EU. So I'm not really going for challenger. I mean, I've only played like 50 games in three weeks. I have two weeks left. You have no time now. Yeah, there's like no time to do it. And then, I don't know, like I did challenger in NA. So like, I guess I would probably want to go for like 1k LP when I get back. But it doesn't feel like meaningful to me, you know? We should do uh, fucking. Even when Team Liquid was doing it during the regular season, people just. Bro, like the it, the time between uh, the playoffs and MSI, we should do fucking uh, some kind of challenge, you know? Just pick like a competitive game and we all like race each other. Yeah, like if we put like money on the line and then we just don't pay it out, but we make it like an absurd amount. We put like 50k on the line per person. We call it a two hundred thousand dollar challenge, but then we just like are all friends and we just like don't pay each other the money afterwards. <laughs> So we just like scam the audience. <laughs> well, I think that's what the side men do, no? Yeah, we just don't tell them about that part. And then we're just, we're good. We just uh, put you on a piece of paper. 200k, woo, the winner is. Yep. We just say, whoever, whoever wins, Dana shows up and pays you 60 Gs, baby. <laughs> Pick in this game and yeah, man. Dana White is gonna shop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably the best man themselves. Yeah, I think Actually, do you guys watch all uh, the international uh, documentaries? Like, uh. Tell us soon just to win Champions League. It's the fucking finals, man. We need to gas up on LCS. It's yep. just, I will dominate co stream, baby. Damn, bro, the co stream. Bro, we're streaming on YouTube. They don't need to worry about the well, on YouTube, baby. Bro, you YouTube know, you know what? I don't know how to feel about this, Yamato. My my YouTube viewership is slowly overtaking my Twitch viewership. Nice. Like, is that a good thing or a bad thing? I think it's a bad thing, but I'm not sure. I, I, I just wonder how much additional views you have or if it, like, takes away from your Twitch views. Because I personally love the YouTube, like... Like, I have YouTube Premium. I have no reason to watch Twitch. I always watch YouTube. Yeah, 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 same. Okay, Jax123 ban. YouTube is simply just a better platform. Do, we are do better the dumb here. Out. Yep, do the dumb thing. First pick Talia. Oh, yep, I'm Kalista telling you, bro. To invite the Talia. Now you, nah, bro. Why would you go this? Like, why would you not first pick Talia? You force them on, a, uh, on another Karma game. Oh, you go Talia Varus and you just win out, no? You go you Talia, Talia Nautilus. Volibear, no. Well, I mean, you, I guess maybe into Renata you don't go Nautilus. Yeah, you just go Volibear again, no? And go Varus on three and just... If he's fine... I'm down with Volibear again. You can go by on three as well. Like, I think just Volibear is the GOAT when it comes to these explosive bot lanes. They really want to counter jungle, I don't know. Do they just go Renata here no matter what or what? The thing is, if you go Renata here, then they could always play like some type of poke support. They can play like Nico support into you. Zyra. Zyra, yeah. Core JJ Zyra, I'm down. I don't like any. At least it's a, it coincides with the game plan. This is the type of mid laner that yes, you would see care play. I think with Annie show, maybe it's worth to not pick Renata because Renata is so weak against Talia Varus. Like, it's just kind of shit. pretty interesting to see the Jax fan coming through to prep for the Renekton pick for Blippo in the top lane in these first three. Yeah, he's not a champ that APA plays that no one else plays. Annie. I like that they're taking away Talia from Jensen as well. But they're going for the. I mean, do you just go like Nautilus here? And then ban Renata? Lee Sin and the Viego are the two most common choices for him. I'd be down for that. Yeah, yeah. Volibear is just so OP, you know, just fucking big play. Come on. So oh. This one. Yeah. I like yeah. it. He looks okay. Cool. It, 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 it does impact on a tank. I'm kind of always down. It's a very common thing to see like a Renata pick here. 
Looks yeah, like a 3-0, but uh... partially it's because bro, three zero. They haven't even got it to the second I've game, bro. What do you want? I've seen a lot of flat questions. Well, Spawn, I listened to Spawn's interview. I really liked I like I like even if they make mistakes. Why would he say Masu still no, like he, he was he was giga based like I think he's like uh, his family is in Australia, like he's gonna fucking waste his time. He gets fucking angry at people that don't fucking work hard. It's like I fucking work hard, why the fuck are you not working hard? And yeah. like this is what he looked for in players when he made the roster. I like like yeah, how he worked his way up as well, you know, like he worked yeah. his way up and he fucking went through the ring and had a lot of fucking success in the academy too. Yeah, he seems like he knows. I mean, I would say the TL coaching staff, I mean, they, they seem like they had the players way more prepared for the last series than Cloud9. Yeah, 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 seemed like sure. a big coaching staff diff. No, it's, it's, it's super cool. And I, I think something that's so important, it's very important to know what you don't know. Yep. I spoke like admitted in the interviews. Like, I'm not super, super fucking cyber when it comes to the game, but I know how to fucking make sure that people are disciplined about their their work and, and their fucking life you know yeah. that's gig important too there's so many traps to fall in as as a pro player that has like high levels of immaturity yeah like getting a girlfriend bro <laughs> that's just the end of you my clan nine were done apparently like from screams yeah i don't know if you guys watched yeah i don't know that shit was weird to watch like that no one was like interjected or, like there was no nothing like what the hell is that noise what's that buzzing bro, bro that's your no, mic i think really yep yeah it's no your way. mic yeah. goodbye mic <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the Clown 9 video Berserker uh, fucking crying almost. Bro, look, if I was a coach, I would try that, to make, I would try to, uh, if you're I would, I would make my players be as unhealthy and disgusting as possible. I feel like that's when people play their best, bro. Like 300 pounds, like fucking sleep weird hours, like full sugar drinks, like, I don't know, bro. Wake up five minutes before the second people start going to the gym and caring about their appearance and dating and stuff, it's over. Bro, my team would just be the most here. like unwatchable <laughs> team like it would just hurt to look at them but they would get it done wait do you mean when he gave you free spot at worth yeah. That was Garrus? You, you don't know Jizuku, you were, you were not pro back then. Like when <laughs> Queso? Yeah, bro, 100%. I'd have five Quesos on my team. Yeah, I know. I, I remember. They gave you a spot at Wurz, I remember. Yeah. So, at least for this game. Oh, Svenska was, was fucking insane. insane. But yeah. yeah. But when he lost weight, bro, it was not the same anymore. Yeah. Like, SK 2014, Freddy 122, and Svenska were well, machines, man. You Dude, remember F Fat Giants? Fat Giants, Giants was crazy, no? <laughs> yeah, holy shit, when you guys... Wait, that's why oh, you guys made made uh, worlds, bro. You said your combined weight was like 800 kilos with like five people. <laughs> so the 18 vitality was fucking thick, man. Dude, dude like, <laughs> just 18, uh, just 18 words into like entering 2019 was my highest I've ever been. <laughs> God damn. The elevator says 19 people, we have six people and it starts beeping. <laughs> Bro, 19, 19 Koreans people. is the same as six Vitality members. That's insane. Said, said we can't go, bro. Bro, we told you the story, right? We were in the shopping mall. We were like, we're gonna take elevator to the 12th floor and then work our way down. And then as we are approaching on every floor in the shopping mall, every floor it stops. People want to enter, and then every Korean puts one foot, and then the beep, beep, beep. They're like, oh. And then we step out on every floor. Every floor, man. <laughs> And then your mother says, uh, and then your mother says, the guys, guys, whoever enters, just look at them weirdly, okay? <laughs> <laughs> stare at them in the eyes, stare at them in the eyes. <laughs> that can't be real, bro. Bro, you guys were good as fuck. That's the reason you guys got to Worlds, bro. I swear, like, League of Legends skill is stored in the fatness. Like, it's just, it, it's just a fact, bro. Well, let me tell you a meal that we ordered when we were in fucking Korea, okay? We got this idea to order margarita pizzas from Domino's and BBQ Oliver fried chicken to put the fried chicken on the pizza. <laughs> nah, that's the fattest shit, bro. Oh man, that's some, that's some real commentary there. That's what I like to hear.
Okay. Jesus. Bro, if Faker was 300 pounds, bro, he would have won 13 championships. It would just be over. I missed those times. We were all so fucking fat. Nobody gave a fuck. <laughs> like, I don't remember who it was, but I have this memory. It's like we had a lot of... We over-ordered chicken. And we just had it in the fridge. And it's like mid, mid, in the middle of the game. Like level one starting. Then we're going up. I'm, I'm watching from the other room. One person wasn't moving. I don't remember who it was. I don't want to call who, randomly out who it was. But someone was like... <laughs> At the fridge eating chicken. Well, we get this <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this no. was uh, this was 2018 uh, uh, May. Um, Our bootcamp was so yeah. <laughs> It was so fucking hilarious. It was from the day before the night. We were the like, next fucking eight, uh, like eight different chicken. Like, I don't fucking know. There were so many chicken on the table. I can't even fucking remember. Like, <laughs> what we ordered? I don't know. Maybe we ordered the, the whole menu. <laughs> <laughs> we had garlic chicken, we ordered soy chicken, we ordered cheese chicken. <laughs> Bro, the E start, Annie just in the enemy jungle, gets chunked to half HP, has a pot. Tragedy. Wait, they actually start uh, Q? I see every Nautilus now in, in Asia, they start W no matter what. Like, no matter what, they go W and they just walk up and start autoing you with Aftershock. Never wanna Did Nuketar just say that the enemy comp is bad? Yeah. I was like, enemy comp is pretty bad, so. <laughs> bro, I can't believe Nuketar, bro. He came to the sack one time, dropped an all time banger, and then just left. And then never came back. Yeah, he never came back, bro. He, he like... can't control himself. Like... He, got, he got a warning, bro. Yeah, he got a warning, bro. He just said that his top laner had cancer, and then he just fucking he got a warning, never came back. He made my so day, man. He made my day a lot. <laughs> Okay, Jizu. Oh, uh, let's go. Oh, let's go, man. <laughs> oh, let's go. <laughs> I want to protect him. I don't know what to say. Oh my god, bro. Jesus. Um, he's matching. Um, he's matching. Oh my god. Oh my god, man. Oh, 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 man. Oh, man. oh, what happened here? My god. Hey, you hold oh, that. no. It's, it, this is a total. Inspired play, Inspired play, bad. No, but uh, are we talking about face Rashani, zero damage? No yeah, scorch? Yeah. <laughs> he has got any storm, like... Uh, but little bro, oh, why do you throw your... Why don't you hold your leak <laughs> longer? Man, no scorch, face Rashani. getting cancelled like, by uh, Sidwani Q. Also, they're getting oh, fucked bot lane here, aren't they? Under mine. So insane. I don't think he means it as a compliment. What gave it away? <laughs> From AP my LCS in the no What's wrong with this APA guy, man? I hope they lose. <laughs> <laughs> well, they won't. <laughs> Bro, APA is just about to win LCS. That's crazy. Honestly, everyone is so good to talk when they win. Yeah. Pretty cringe. So last world, he almost no, bro, when, when they lost, when, lost when they lost, everyone hated this guy. Also, didn't this look fucked up on your screen? Like this Q, like, I don't know, it just looks so fucked up. I was so badly played. Oh, and then Inspire, oh, oh, oh. Jeez. Also, never stop with either. <laughs> Yeah. And you just know how good that feels. I mean, also, did he W himself or what did he do with his W? Because he should W forward and just like Q, W forward, keep on autoing. Yeah. He didn't use W. But oh, nice. Jensen, Jensen started E when he can start Q this matchup. Then he has Oh, no. Wait. No way. Oh, my God, man. Stop it. Wow. You can't kill him like that. Oh my god, impact is too smart as well. Oh, oh no! God, oh you flash no! Like that? Oh my god, man. Oh my god. Bro, I just have flashbacks of that series where Wonder just put it all up in Blippo, man. Uh, you remember that one? <laughs> Question mark into Bro. That, shit. That's actually good. <laughs> I mean, it's so funny because people every time he's talking about him, but he's saying, I'm, I'm, I have this guy on farm. <laughs> <laughs> I always remember, but I only remember him shitting on people all the time. <laughs> Wunder, Wunder was the guy. The, the, the no, no, no. Impact on farm. No, no, no. We've was. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Wait, this fight, I think, is, is fine for, uh, for Fly, no? Oh, good flash from Core. It, Masu, one minute. Oh! Masu, what oh, are you going there? No, 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 He pussied out, bro. It's pussy old behavior, bro. Masu. No, 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 no. Oh, APA died mid, though. Roam from Whippo. Okay, reggaeton. 
I was about to say ma I was about to say mass one when Ansys, but then he fucked up the whole yeah, play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a critical kill. Pussy old behavior, bro. It happens. Just stack your rand and then go next to the next target. Like, holy shit. Yeah, yeah. Was so good. Bro, we could fucking run mid and give up a 20 CS top or what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did he TP top push and then go mid or did he TP mid? He I mean, it's honestly not that bad. He's gonna catch the entire wave. It's actually a pretty good roam timer by him. I don't know how he found this. No, no, he lost uh, the wave. Oh, actually, I go back. That's it. Did he TP top and push or did he TP mid and gank? No, he, he TP top it. He TP top, okay, he TP okay. top push. So the wave was just bad when he died. But impact pushed already. Yep. And he lost one wave. So, I guess one way for one of them, Yeah, it's actually such a crazy timer to find. Early. And now we be fair, because we Whippo learned from Adam. Wait, is Jeon trolling? Is Jeon trolling? Oh, Jeon! No flash! Put him in the dumpster, I hate this guy. Boom! Why do you hate this guy, bro? What did he do to you? Whoa, these words were said by Gillis. Uh, I just remember <laughs> I, I played support in solo queue, I entered this guy in solo queue. The second game, the double... <laughs> then he added me after the game, and then we flamed each other, and I acted like I'm a Korean. <laughs> 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 I, I was running like... Uh, so you hate him because you were completely in the wrong? Nice, bro. <laughs> Do you say do you say Shiba Noah? That's what he said. Like you son of a bitch. Gase cat. That's what he said. Holy shit. Leave my server. Leave my leave my server. Junction. So you're just wrong for that, bro. What the fuck? I'm wrong right with that one. Leave my server. Junction. Junction. Leave my server. You son of a bitch. Dialed in. Now Bwipo, ulti's forced. Jensen's on the roam. He's gonna try to get up here. In fact, should just be able to get up here. Oh, it's, uh... Oh, no, Impact. Alright, Jensen's giving back. Oh, good. Got him powered stun. Kill him. Oh, there was Tibbers. Oh, no! Oh. Not like that! Oh! 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 oh. oh. Impact! Oh. Impact. Oh. Impact. Oh. Impact! You can't no. do that to him in finals, no, no. bro! But Bwipo played it bad. I, I, I don't know. I was I was watching and I thought he goes in and kills everyone, but. Okay, my first of five might hit, guys. Fucking <laughs> 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 Wait, is it, doesn't Neon understand Korean? He does. Yeah, he does. He he does, does but like not, not, not as well as people think. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like he was the uh, he was like the like the like um like super American Korean that like didn't speak fluently and then harry kind of spoke Korean. yeah but he's learning i saw some video yeah yeah he can talk i mean the only korean i ever learned was just bad words yeah, his perma told me bad words i learned oh. how to say monkey because that's what we call wukong in champions select oh nice bro what is it one singing oh, i thought it's wukong one singing one singing and we're gonna see this on cooldown. You know, it's not really that you're thinking about getting the kill. Right, right the APA is getting cooldown. shit on. You just pressure them out, use that to get free push on the wave, and you just constantly go for the oh, stun. Oh, the Yep. And Jensen is also Tibbers a mechanic. Mechanic. Bro, what? By the way, I thought the dumb piglet stories are only for stream only. I was eating kebab with him, and he told me a piglet story, a piglet rant in real life. By the way. Oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, which one? It's like the the, the teammate you fought the most with. Oh yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> so Gillis asked me like what my like worst quality was like as a teammate or like we were just talking about as a teammate like how how were we and what i said is like dude when i was a, a player like the one thing is like i would never let anything go like it was never like a, oh like drop it like people say drop it i'm like no we're just literally gonna argue until you admit that you're right that that i'm right or i admit that you're right like one of us has to be right in the end or else like we just keep on going forever <laughs> that was like that was how i was that's like Dark and Jax. It was the same. Yeah. <laughs> nice, bro. Compare me to Darkwing Jax. <laughs> yeah, you are the same, though. Yeah. It's like if there was a, a, a like discussion about an invade and whether it was good or, or bad, it's like we are arguing until we come to the conclusion that I was right or you were right, or it just never ends. Jensen on the Annie being that huge cannon for the team. That's it. Respect that. Because Jensen.
towards the top. He just hates Impact. He's like, Impact, you gave me only two championships. Bro, Leeds farming mid. Leeds farming mid. Oh, oh, I didn't like the angle that that Jensen was walking there. It was a little scary to me. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands right now. I don't know. I don't know. I'm robbing them. I'm robbing them. No lotion. No lotion. Yo, the creativity of Whippo's skills to put him back in the game somehow. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, man, the fake base on top. The wrong one. We've heard, we've heard both of them were really obvious. Some disappointed. Because uh, on the top one, 20 CS, only thing he can do is Rome because he doesn't want to be again, he doesn't want to have gold. And now, yeah, yeah. Lee is farming midwave in front of the Talia, and Talia is not saying shit. <laughs> <We're serious. laughs> but I think if Renekton base, he's not on time for that midwave. <laughs> All right, neutral objectives look like they're just going to be traded this time around. But yeah, it's definitely fishy. Oh, oh, we got ulti here for Maso's ulti. This guy is dead, no? Okay. Come on, oh, come they go on that guy. Okay. No flash, no flash. Big, 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 Oh, cute. Yo, Gilly, is your first to five fly as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, bro. Same. You too? Yes, sir. And in Kalista, no to lose. Renek. Let's see the Kimalener, man. Let's see the Kimalener. Yes. It's farming mid Burma, dude. You guys were sweating, man. Bro, I mean, it is what it is. Like, it's still like you just do the thing that makes sense. That's how it goes. No, you have to win every bet. If you don't, then you're just an idiot. That's how it would be with Twitch chat, man. Like, they're like, why would you think that? Did you not watch in game number one? <laughs> Didn't you realize they were tilted from game number one? Wait, is my mic bad right now? I don't know. Can't tell. Oh, uh, what is going on here? Uh, ay, ay, ay. Oh, Mercury. All right, all right, Freddy. Oh, oh, oh. Damn, he almost sliced him. Holy shit. This guy is so fucking useless. Bro, what was that? <laughs> He's fucking peacing out. Talija. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Talija just says that when she goes by you? Yeah, yeah. She's just a droplet. I hear it. I hear it. You need to be Palestinian to hear it. Oh, okay, okay. So I can't hear it, okay? Bismillah. <laughs> uh, okay, Flak is on the board. Board, baby. This is a nice cohesive comp. Compare this leasing game to the fucking leasing game yesterday that Blabberoni had to play. What is what is this we came today? We need to fucking get it together. This is just becoming so fucking so so tired, bro. <laughs> It needs, it needs some IV, liquid IV, and some two and a half minutes. Bro, you started us on the Korean cast, and then it just, it was all downhill. <laughs> and now the GGs come out, they're just not even audible anymore. <laughs> Yo, and he's OP with this fucking board, guys, man. Look at that auto range. Yes. You guys believe that Jizuki used to be any OTP? <laughs> Holy fuck. Bro, and zero allegations. That's why I like you, Jizu. Zero allegations. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of sad. Like, Jax is a what? cool champ. Like, You're, why, why is <laughs> You're kind of sad Jizu has no allegations? All right, nice, bro. No, bro. I, I was like, no. But you, I said, I'm kind of sad that Jax is ruined. His reputation is ruined. Like, he did, like Jax, the champ, did nothing wrong. <laughs> He's a cool champ. What are you, Jax's fucking lawyer or something? Like, I don't know. No, bloods, like, why, why, why are we allowing these bad people to give Jax a bad reputation? Bro, how do you know that it's not like Talisha and like he just speaks only to, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to say oh, the word. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> These words were said by Joe Walker. 
nine through the counter strike. Wait, they're getting tier two top or what? Just getting the tier two? Like, is anyone going top? They have six grubs, bro. This tier two is suffering. Okay, I'm surprised that has that much HP. Even though Team Liquid no, free Jax. Jax is low. Yeah, like, bro, Jax, you know, in the past, there was uh, like a, uh, like oh, a Masu, make a wish Is that a child. good trade, brother? Like, that can't be how it goes. You're also standing on top of the Varisy and reducing your own healing. But it's okay. He has like, Jax has like a quote, you know, that is dedicated to, to, to a child. Oh, yeah, that like, had, like, here's uh, for you, kid, or something. Yeah, yeah, it's like dedicated to this child. Jax was his favorite champ. I think it was like a make-a-wish thing where he wanted to meet like the right developers and so forth. And Jax is a quote, man. Jax is cool, man. Damn. That's crazy. Yeah, that's a cool story, Amato. Fucking Gilius, bro. <laughs> Gilius can't be a real person, man. Is it real? I'm not sure. Yeah, it is real. Nah, no way, man. No, I've heard of it before, bro. That's a real thing. He says, here's for you, kid. Uh, here's to you, kid. Oh, here's to you, kid. Yeah, yeah. Also, even though the the very tanky comp of Team Liquid might lose out on damage later in the game, tanks are insane. Never forget, bro. We gotta take this fight, no? Are we not taking this fight? We got Kalista, Annie, Lee, Sin, Renekton. We gotta take this fight. Are we really playing for tier two over this? Got a TP though. I really ah, they gotta fight this. They're trolling. They're trolling. They're trolling. They're trolling. They're trolling. Okay, he gets oh, Drake for no reason. They just wow. left and he just got Drake. Yeah, what? Man. And they're not. And they can just run and Whipple's getting tier two. Holy yeah, huge. Wow, that's a heist. That's, that's a heist, bro. This is so good for the series. I want like four games at least. Bro, this is a mission in GTA 6 where you rob a bank and get away with it. Damn. Fucking hell, man. Bro, they have they're six also, grubs. They got the Drake now. They have 3k Goldie. They're about to get bot turret. They're whoa, whoa, Busio. Oh, Busio. Wait, they're TPing now. They're TPing now. APA. Oh, if that landed, APA is going to have to flash. Oh, he's dead. Hey. Maybe not. No, Busio is just the gold, man. He's cold. Oh, yeah. Okay. I see it inspired. Okay. okay. Oh, there's the kick. I like it. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. Wait, somebody kill him, please. Okay. Wait, this is only one kill. This is a one for one? Masu. That's a one for one? Ah. Wow. I have 50 Gs, baby. How the fuck is that a one for one, bro? Hey, someone got that on the Hello? You don't spawn the fucking things? Yes, yes, bro. They don't. People don't know, man. It is what it is. You have six void links. No, yeah, it's fine. Man. It's fine. Same thing would have happened. Yon was yawning, man. I'm not even sure he spotted wanted to kick him that way. I think he was looking three man kick. I think so too, yeah. Yeah, it looked like he was doing a kick time at the beginning. Yeah. Do you guys have a Teemo hat as well? Hell no, bro. You think I have a fucking Teemo hat? Nice, bro. I have all oh. my world's memorabilia. I have like four world's wait, coins. Wait, wait, is just dead as hell. He has to just run. He has to run it down, I think. Can he he? He can't. Yeah, yeah, he can. He can. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Oh, you see that? He's not dead. No. Oh, got it. How did he get that auto, bro? I think Impact W is the wrong direction, no? Yeah, no, nah, he shouldn't have got that auto. Uh, Impact had no ult or no? Or does he have ult? He doesn't have it, right? Okay, yeah, it was no ult. Oh, you can't tell because the icon is one millimeter. Show the ult shot. What? He doesn't have ult? Illu- Oh, whatever. <laughs> but Team Liquid's not going to give him anything. It is a 4,000 gold lead for FlyQuest mm -hmm. after 20 minutes of this game. Inspired quietly is as high mm -hmm. level as the Soul mm -hmm. Laners as well. He's got two level lead on Humpty. Well, he is guys. getting oh, very strong. Look at his farm. He's got as but, much uh, farm as his What's wrong with this game? Yeah, I don't know about like, quiet. What's this <laughs> farm about? This is crazy, man. He, yeah. He's People farm are just so roaming, bro. Really strong. But like uh, Kalista and Kisante, the farm is so fucking cringe. Yeah, yeah, the farm is terrible. Alia, it's so bad, by the way. Like, you don't know how much Ben will How 
all behind. Yeah. This is Italia. Bro, like, he doesn't have this. 13, he's 11. He, he should make up uh, for him not having 200 CS with 5 kills. <laughs> okay, there's a Sejuani ult on the floor. I assume that it did not hit. Oh, actually, Masu cleansed it, I think. Okay, okay. I, I actually just watch Impact. He's level 14. That makes sense, right? Yep. <laughs> wait, wait. We're just dying in side lane perma now. They're just TPing on side lane and killing everyone. No, we're not flashing here, are we? I guess they're trying to buy time for Baron. I guess, I guess. I guess it's a good flash, actually. Or it just escapes. Or it just escapes. Bro, Impact is dying to Lee and please kill the Timbers, man. <laughs> oh my... Oh, yes, a stun. You, you challenge that, you gen zone? Oh my god, he got so lucky. Okay, Bro, don't turn. Ren. Do you have to turn here? Stay no, on no, it! No, 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 Ren. Stay on it, stay on it, stay on it, stay on it, stay on it. Stay on it, guys. No, no, no. Oh. Combo it. Oh, they fucked it up like they always do, bro. They always fuck it up. Every team fucks us up every time, bro. That's crazy talk. Wait, oh, inspired. Who oh, fucked up? They always fuck up, bro. Smoke. It's always Who's fucked up. Who oh, fucked like Million rent stacks on that shit, no? The million rent the stacks, they just weren't, they, they, could, they didn't call a timing. In before, the, the rent expired. And no one fucked up. Other than us. <laughs> but like here, like like boost, like the whole call should just be like, all right, I'm just gonna like Nautilus ulti him. Like when it gets kind of low, we just finish. Like you're clearly playing to finish here when you're stalling on the other side of the map. The enemy has no pressure on you at all. Oh, oh my God, man! What the fuck? It happens every time, bro. So That's so fucked up. Oh, I think we will kind of answer by turning too early as well. They should have yeah. just There's no pressure on them. Like, you can just stand on the other side of the Nash. The enemy can has to fucking tank the Nash to go on you. You have Rend. Just go on the other side of the Nash. They go so far now. Now your target, but that's Kasante. So he is going to walk it off. Meanwhile, Yon shows up with the chains of corruption. Busio is going to lose about 60% health on that one. And Team Liquid, with their newfound control... This Kasante is so fed. Everyone's so weak. No, no, but... That's what... Actually, tell us about 14, no? But yeah, like, everyone is so banned in levels. Like, yeah, I mean, they were so behind, and then Baron comes in, and then suddenly... Everyone is no longer behind. Like, Impact is going to level 15 now, if he farms a bit. Team Liquid still focused as ever, and now look at the map too. How quickly we're going to game it turns in their favor for Vision after winning that fight. We are going to game three, yeah, for sure, bro. Where Masu had this big lead, that is, is now are going to game three. Yeah. The one that's actually ahead. They're both on two completed items, but you know more items in pocket, working towards that third there for Yon. Yon has been so good. I know so Kalista has no impact there. anymore. I think they, I think they might be old skills. Tom Kent that's behind fun. him. I think he's in a really good position to carry this game. It's going to be up to the X Factor champion. They also have so many turrets to collect. Like, or a big engage that yeah, I don't like Lisson's build either. I think. Oh, is that is that anything? No, no, no. They have eat as well. Jensen? I don't know, bro. I think Inspire just kind of griefed the whole game. Ah, uh, maybe not. Masu cannot hit at all. Oh, Masu cannot hit. No, no, no. no. Wibble just did work, bro. Oh, Wib. Whip did work. Chinese Renekton. Holy, he's speaking Mandarin, bro. Who taught Whipple Mandarin? If no way, bro. If Who taught him? Oh, he doesn't have ult, okay. Honestly, Whipple was really insanely high elo only playing Renekton when he was in China for Worlds 2020. <laughs> yeah? He was the highest rated Western My player, God, I think, man. playing Renekton Super 7. Oh, you, I have to go for W. Ah, whatever. Jizu would have cancelled him there. He would have got super speed. <laughs> super speed. Yeah. Wow, I was sure that fight was not winning. I saw I Kalista mean, position, not hitting. Inspired engaging like this, looked goofy as fuck. Yeah, it looked I mean, really fucked up to be honest. It's Renekton just that fucking broken, dude. To be fair, I needed so much damage here, but the Steebers is farming them. I look really fucked up? What do you mean I look really fucked up? Let's <laughs> well, just bust it in here after five hours. And then she says, you look really fucked up. That's the first thing. Nice. <laughs> Ooh, bro, look at look at Leandry damage. It's crazy. The work he's doing with Tibbers. Yeah. 
I think he did like if they show damage, he did trigger no damage. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Yeon, no flash. You have no flash on Renekton, but Annie has flash. Oh, whole match is just gone like that. Yeah. Do you guys dig the randuins here on on Renek? Is it just like uh, no armor item, homelessness? Angle. Don't give it to him, Busio. Don't give it to him. He's gonna get Busio's gonna get flipped and he's gonna ult out. I can tell already. Oh, uh, maybe not. What's oh. happening? Wait, they're just ending the game. Oh, okay. Oh, oh we have to kick there? Okay. Wait, we have to. Masu is, is, has to flash or what? Uh, oh, it's fine. Oh. Actually, walked out. Wait, the. the nice. They're gonna kill everyone. Can you kill Yo, Yo, man. Man. Bro, like, Tibbers is actually just 1v9. Yo, I think Tibbers like, might be better than like three or four of the players in this game. I actually agree. <laughs> it's fucking Mike Tyson. <laughs> like, if you could have on your team, uh, like, Yeon or Tibbers, who would you take? <laughs> Taking Tibbers? Okay. He's worth it, he's worth it. Alright. I would take Yeon. But I don't I understand, respect like, him. they're sleeping. They're actually sleeping, though, no? Like, there is Talia, there is Varus, they can free the Tibbers. Yeah. But they're just refusing. No, like, they just don't They just don't realize they have to kill the Tibbers, bro. Everyone can do something. Like, let's see, actually. Let's, let's fucking watch what happens here. Okay, they go. Okay, QE. You cleanse that? That's such and they can't a slow play. Just hit it, bro. It's 1,300 health. It's one-shotting okay. your team. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's watch more. The Marigrants on the floor. Yeah, okay, let's watch. Yeah, dude, oh, the Tibbers yeah, actually did, like, dude, 2K like, damage. Here, bro. Like, oh, there's I another malignant proc here. Like, come on. I mean, oh, it's just beating somebody else's ass. I mean, when Guillaume was working up, and ironically, the best he can do. Bro, look at the damage! Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> 90% <laughs> for Tibbers, please. I mean, Guillaume <laughs> could free eat him, by the way. Like, he, he can't reach Matsu. He uses spells. Fuck it, Tibbers. Nah, man. The Cassante will tank up as much as he can, but he does not That's... want to remain. Team Liquid falling back now. They are once again down three and a half thousand. Whoa. Whippo pops the door. Whoa, I guess he's right. forward. He's mad. <laughs> oh, okay, wait, no wait. He has, he has Sterics. Oh, no. he has Sterics. No. He has Sterics. There it is. No, but Impact T. Oh, does he kill him anyway? Oh. Okay. Oh, they're going for him. Holy shit. Oh, Impact's on the move. Drifting. Oh, that's a ghost. Yeah, I mean, Impact into this moment here. Blip has TP. Yeah, Blip has TP. He's gonna have a uh, flash for the next fight, probably. He's something an Ultra Ghost, I think. It's fucking big in the Zoom fight. I wonder if I can do more, honestly. No ult Varus, no ult Joan, no ult Cassandra. Like, they, no ult, um, no one has ult. <laughs> no one has ult, yeah. Do you just fucking give, like, Nash a little fucking love, man? Because the enemy wants to base. No, I mean, like, blue side. Look at the waves from blue side. Ah, yeah, I think they can keep forcing, but they don't need the ult. Like, oh, but they're, they're kind of dropping their tempo. Wait, does Maso have a... Item? He's dropping his tempo doing this red. Ah, maybe he doesn't need items. Fuck it, bro. Just like, let's red and smite correctly this time. Actually, you don't go for the red and smite anymore. Just play Maso itemization is a problem. Like, he's not going terminus here against Sejuani, Tam, Kesante. Yeah, it's, it's weird. As, it, he's going it's, Hurricane? It's really weird to go Hurricane. I think you need the pen from terminus, to be honest. He's getting rapid fire count. I don't know, I think any atom is a uh, high DPS anyway. No? I think Kurikan, I think Tarim is uh, Lord Dom's any atom here is like uh, DPS. Uh, Terminus is so important, no? The enemy has way too much armor on MR. I like Terminus. Well, I think Terminus is just too good. I can a good item. <laughs> what is it, Jizu? What if he builds Kraken? Kraken is good item. <laughs> Honestly, Kraken and Kraken can still probably fucking be good. Oh, inspired? Oh, wait, they just flashed right, in. Bubba just rocks. flashed in. Okay. Renekton. They eat as far. Oh, stun on Tom? Yeah, he oh, stunned okay. Tom there. To... Oh, Core went in? No way. Core Cor just W'd in there. Super Core JJ, man. Is it good? Core just W'd in, bro. What? What wow. the fuck, man? Oh, they're wait, going for Eon. Oh, oh shit. Eon? For killing him. Uh, game's over or what? Game's just over. They got six scrubs. Void grabs, baby. 
I'm leaving if he does this again. <laughs> bro, how broken is Renekton, by the way? Yeah, bro. This champion is pretty insane. Nah, but they trolled so fucking hard just with macro and from inside. Like, this Kisante could have won me nine if they just... Uh, I don't know, like, after level 8, what the fuck just happened? Like, uh, lanes whoops and shit. Like, <laughs> the chaos happened, the most dog shit game happened. Like, what? Alright, bro, we got a series. 1-1, one, one, baby. 1-1. One, one. if that Nashu would have led to a loss, or that fight would have led to a loss, and we're just 2-0 now, bro, that would be deflation. What did yeah. Steph Curry Sim just write in the chat? They won't draft the fight. The gloves red. And my goodness, I'm still thinking back to Can you please pause the stream and match for four six hours? My neighbor's mistress just went into labor and they have no one to drop them to the hospital but me. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, you just pause it on YouTube, bro. Pause it on the YouTube stream and come back in four to six hours and just press play. That's so fucked up. Yeah. Well, it was a pleasure, guys, but I'm dying. I guess. Alright, peace. Alright, right, guys, uh, good night. See you in uh, the afterlife. <laughs> See you in the afterlife, alright. Peace, Jesu. <laughs> alright, I'll be right back. We're back right, above same. a kill a minute. 30 One minutes, and a half 30 kills a minute. Oh. One and a half kills a minute in that game. 46 kills in a 30 minute game. And the, Hell yeah. you heard that inspired what the cashier just said. Inspired had more CS than everyone on Team Liquid. <laughs> <laughs> As Elise said, like, what, what was happening that game? I don't know how that happened. My region. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's insane. Let's play this through. Actually, the early game for FlyQuest was pretty doomed. If you, if you watched the early game, went to the washroom, came back, you would not have actually seen, <laughs> known how oh. FlyQuest came back. also, like, how mad are you if you're, uh... I've seen APA survive with like 3 HP. Yeah, yeah so 25 four times on the left corner uh, there. Yeah. That's 1 HP. Blows. <laughs> I feel like Flyquest should have won the early game harder with how much priority they have in both top and bot and how much gank pressure they have in mid lane. Yeah. It shouldn't be like 1 for 1 in this bot play, for example, and it shouldn't be having a 0 for 1 in a 2 to mid. This was this unironically really nice, a pretty yeah. good Top solo kill as well for impact, which led Wibble to make this play. I guess. That was actually really In some strange yeah. way, him getting solo killed gave him push for one wave to run mid. <laughs> <laughs> and then this, like, 1v4 solo kill. The last for you big. top laners out there. Yeah, yeah. Well, APA needs to not do this. Uh, but at the same time, Whippo is really good at just timing. And it shouldn't be that hard, but timing hysterics with his Empower Q. Yeah. Like, it just completely bursts his health in an unpredictable state. Then this one is... All right, wait, yeah, we're going to... It Let's roll like that back. Yeah, roll it back course. and like slow it down. Because huh? this like, is a Callista Ren that we have seen not go well. I don't most think he ran. Does he not? Well, I think he both drummers just smite at 2000 HP. Inspired has no just, smite. It's just. I think it's a, it's a bug on me. Oh, it might be a bug. Sure, surely. Surely we don't hit Baron without smite. Yeah, well, <laughs> my <laughs> guys. <laughs> I think it's just the, the tool is bugged and we play. Yeah, you're right, you're right. But I think uh, both drummers just know that around 2000 HP, you smite and you rend, and you just hope that the team with two smites technically wins. Yeah. They, they, they did not win. Spoiler, they did not win. <laughs> Boom. Uh, and then this worked. I was very surprised this worked. It felt like a desperation okay. angle to inspire. No one was nearby when you engage, but then. Look at people here, he flashes onto Yon, the moment he sees him, breaks the shield, yeah. and just yeah. one-shots him. Wow. Actually unkillable. And Master's untouched the entire fight. Not a single ability or spell hit him so far. That's disgusting. Especially with how poorly the game started for Whippo yeah. in lane. Yeah. That he just, like Santi. Yeah. <laughs> goes mid, gets the kill, finds a play <laughs> top bot lane. Like, he actually just had the craziest... Um, basically come back on we're gonna that. have to watch this fight twice once it happens because this was this was the game ender oh true quarter day definitely <laughs> made a mistake where did he come in. from i actually don't know where he came from he, yeah he got kicked over the wall by inspired and then he, all right let's let's yeah. back let's back, let's back this up, yeah. up here uh man the fact that inspired <laughs> so inspired landed that cue four seconds ago before he took, he took it, it the let's last go back second. to the yeah. let's go back to the very start of this fight oh, you're right there he is i'd say for me the the left side emily with impact uh no that's not what did it what really turned this fight i'd say just impact. a pretty good engagement i would say it was it was flint Whippo, also yeah. very good yeah. it makes the fight split putting liquid their carries and position gets yeah. the wall and now it's free damage onto impact 
Yeah, I mean, er, a little G. bit <laughs> earlier in the fight, as Core dies again, Masu was actually able to get a ton of damage onto yeah, Yon because he was able to play super far forward because of Whippo's Renekton zoning everyone. I think the moment Inspired kicked Core J over the wall with Yon in his belly. That's the win. Yeah. That's the time yeah. to back off for TL. Mm -hmm. But then Cole goes back in and it feels like everyone gets baited in to help him. All right, I'm ordering food. And they all die. Oh, I know which one this is. Which one is it? Gilius. Top right. Yeah. GG easy. And my girlfriend. I feel like kind of. Yeah, you, can, you can also, also do wide yeah, whippo. That's, yeah. that's the wide whippo. I trust that's this computer. I don't yeah, trust this yeah. fucking computer. Yeah, you motherfuckers are in my computer. Like, the three, we can't just circle all three. Yeah. Why not? Bro, this is going to be a banger series. I can already tell. I'm down. Yeah. And we can sleep in tomorrow because there's no LPL until 12. I like the GG easy for this. Oh, there's no yap in this game. That's true. Well, he, he did at the very start. Yeah, after yeah. the L3 gank? He, he was yapping yeah. after the, real the first after that. Okay, so Team Liquid selects blue side. No subs. We got a series now. They've clearly came to play. Both teams got in the dirt that game. One and a half combined kills per minute. Now, what, what does Team Liquid do on blue side? Because the bot lane meta to me is the most interesting thing. In game one, the Kai'Sa blind seemed really weird. Yep. Game two, getting the Kalista for Masu, I think, really stabilized their overall game because he was just way more effective in these team fights. Yep. And the simplicity of the top side for FlyQuest was really good. So what does TL, what does TL do to try to... Come on. I feel on. Like TL I'm ordering the food. I actually feel that poorly about this game. Like, I feel like they would look at their draft. They're like, you know, we still got something that Yon plays really well with. We did attack bot side and we ended up getting Drake control down there as well. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if we see them opt into the same trade with FlyQuest with the Callista Varus. Uh, one thing that is guaranteed is we will not have a sweep. So one one, <laughs> That's true. next two wins takes the series. As we head to break, let's take a look at our LCS Connected comms replay presented by AT&T and voted on by chat. Oops, kill him, kill him, kill him. Can we slowly fight Yeah, I have to ult him. Okay, they're going to lost mate. Come behind them, go behind them. Still a they still a beat. AD no flash. Talia has flash. Yeah, okay. Also flash, he's baiting hard. I stunned him all. Yeah, looks good, looks good. We will ace them here. I'm yeah, behind looks, them. Looks fightable, looks really yeah, good. Yeah, you can go over. They still have it. I saved. I saved, I saved, I saved. Three, we'll see you. Yeah, yeah. Just go, 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 go. We killed them all. Talia's in the bush still. Talia, can we look Talia? Yeah, yeah. Hook in two, hook in two. But he can ulti out after. Okay, just look at him. He's I don't want to die. Yeah, don't die then. You got him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's dead. Uh, nice, nice, guys. Give it to Annie. Leah flash there. Nice, guys. Yeah, I can play stuff. Okay, okay. I want to go all the way around, guys. Watch me, watch me, watch me. I'll flash watching over. I'll flash yeah, over. Watching yeah. it. Popping my ult right now. Let's hook this guy. We Sonic started on Sante. They used on me. They battle suited already. I'm stunning Tom, stunning Tom, stunning Tom. He's watching me. I stop stacks. Fight together, fight together. Front to back. They're out, they're out, they're out. Go Tom, go Tom, he's ending, he's ending. Look my hook, look my hook. Go more, 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 more. More, 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 keep more, going, more, keep more, going, more, keep more, going, keep going, keep going. I have sex. I have both. Go, 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 go. Go first, go, 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 go. I'm tanking, Paris, okay. Go flash. Tanking one last. Starting this guy. Not tanking anymore. Kill this guy too. End the game. End. Yeah. Campbell turret, turret. I'm fine. Do we need to tank for the... Make more good in the Kia Sportage X-Pro. Kia. Movement that inspires. Red Bull gives you wings. Dude, why'd you put your new rig in the basement? Didn't you hear? Bill's a good billionaire now. Basically, my new connection is so strong I can game anywhere. Check it out. We've got Gamer Rocker, Gamer Floaty, Gamer Couch. Whoa. It's got wheels. Gamer Bench, Gamer Throne, and Gamer Mower. What's that? It's hard to game while walking downstairs. I get it. That's smart. Live like a gagillionaire with low latency everywhere. AT&T Fiber with all buy. Hello? Hello? Am I alone with Dom's viewers? Hello, Dom's viewers. Are you guys enjoying the LCS? Are you excited?
Let me know if your dong's long and you like LCS. Put your hands in the sky if your dong's long and you're enjoying the LCS. My brother wrote he, he is more excited for the LCS than the LEC. Yeah, bro, where they are playing the finals. You'd hope that that is the case. <laughs> Thomas actually is a goat, man. What did he do? Uh, we're ordering from the best Turkish restaurant around here. Right now? Oh, nice. Yeah, it's just Dom Wides in the chat. I don't even have the emote and they just want to see my butthole. Cool. Oh, that place is so cracked. Yamato, you have to go one time. Yeah, hey, I'm coming. Actually, guys, I can't come. Really? I got my ball stuck in a zipper. Oh shit, <laughs> that sounds painful, man. <laughs> shit happens. Dude. Luca Changreta. It's happening to Dom's voice. Yeah, it's me. Dominica. Dominica is dating his sister. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> that's what's up. That's Keep how it we in. do it in Texas, bro. That's how we do it in Texas. The, yeah, that's my Vin, sister. Vin Diesel way. I am Hell yeah, brother! What the fuck are you doing with my headset? Oh, this Do is it for family. <laughs> what the Keep fuck? It in the family, brother. It is crazy. Like, imagine you make a banger song called Sweet Home Alabama, and then it just becomes the anthem of incest. <laughs> I usually have no control over how your music is going to get consumed. Hey, yeah, your mother, did you see they're legalizing wheat in, in Germany soon? Damn. Yeah, bro. You can just give in to all your vices at the no, same bro. time legally. I was, I was, we were walking, we were at the laundromat, and there was somebody smoking that. weed, just like, I know that it does just like the best right out in, now, like on the street, but right, just chilling at a table, smoking weed, like in the middle of everything, like it's just completely it, it, fine. Yeah. In, in Berlin, smoking, if it's rolled up in the joint, it's not a problem. But if you have on you, they can, they can actually like. There's an implication they can say that you have the intention to sell if it's packaged. Yeah, I might actually grow plants when it's legalized. Apparently, you can grow two plants. That was, that's the limit. Bro, that is the dumbest rule I've ever man. heard in my entire life, bro. They just don't want people to distribute. Mm -hmm. In the finals, tied up with some flash hooks, pretty nasty turnaround on the Nautilus for him and the team. I had to bail out a friend in the past really because he got caught here. with Let's too many baggies. Two. They raided his house three, just because he argued with a woman at a bar. Jesus. And he was taken by the security. Yep. And now we're in draft, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Again, we're going to have Jan not allowed to play Smolder again. Oh, yes. Not only is Gilius a gambling addict, he shall be a drug addict as well. One. And Masu's Callista was definitely a problem for TL in game number two. All these bands making sense to me so far. All right, nice woolly bit band, very smart. Nice smolder band, very smart. Question, are we first picking Talisha or what's the play? Uh, Depends. The Ari ban should be the signal. I think if they ban Ari, they are signaling Talia first pick. No. Six ban. Varus is pretty massive here too. Of like quests like Zyra Khan connoisseurs, Lushinami connoisseurs. Their bot lane. Guy just their bot lane is just like. Tennis. Just donate and everyone else will carry you. That's how I see the bot lane. They play stuff, but they're not gonna like carry the game ever. Six is up. I think that means that you go for Ari. 
because over uh, uh Elysia. No? Okay. So will Inspired play Vi after that first game? I don't think he will, right? I just don't know what they're gonna play against Varus. Are they Senna Nautilus enjoyers? I will say it's also incredibly unfun to lean against. I think they should, yeah. Senna Nautilus. Anyone else's stream die? Yeah. I had a, oh, it did. It did. Offers a lot of less value than All right, I'm pressing click here to reload the player. We don't see it everywhere. I've reloaded the player. Getting that Varus locked in first for for him on Team Liquid. Yeah, it's an out guess. They're going to answer immediately with a lambda naughty. Now thinking about Oh, they really want to play Tom, I guess. For Jensen, it looks like the Annie worked out just fine in game number 2. The Ari has also been one that has been banned. What do you guys think Luke that just told him? Ah, honestly, just fucking pick Annie, bro. Look at you. He's much more team oriented than Ari. They're like pretty similar in in some of the plays they can go for, but Ari just look at you. That does not look like fun. Um, some Annie. Priority yeah. Too, but Annie, the AOE that looks miserable. The like you're gonna play Annie with Tom Kinch both? That was your plan? Are you mad? It's it ugly, bro. Ugly. Yeah, bro. Hale's winning this game, I think. They're getting completely out. They're so out comped right now. I was on the on the Draven subreddit and they think that Tom Kench is halal. <laughs> what does that mean, bro? I don't know. Like, they think that Jax is Shaitan. They think that <laughs> Ezreal is Shaitan. <laughs> Tom Kench is halal. Like if you ate him or like what's the... No, like he's he's a homie. They didn't ban. Wait, what does halal mean? I thought it was like a, like a food. Like it meant that it was like safe to eat or something. No, halal is like good things, you know? Good things for the soul. Oh. I like actions can be halal too. I've never... Yeah, I had no idea. I thought halal was like... It's like able to be consumed it, by it, Muslims. It's, it's like to the, the 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 translation would be like that it's allowed. Oh, they know? missed the ban. They fucked up a ban. No, ain't no way. Very on serious right now. Yeah. They fucked up a ban because they're like, wait, how did we end up with Annie Senna Tom Kench into Asol? That's crazy. They could have just slammed the knot. Olska Gurum. Holy, he does look Polish, the man who held up the sign. I can say that because I'm half Polish. Bro, you're everything, man. Half Arabic, True. half Polish, half Swedish, half German. Half Turkish. Yep, he's everything, bro. What do they need to go here? Like, how do you comp around? Like, I don't even understand what you do. I don't know. If if Blue Side just locks in Maokai and Rek'Sai, do you think TL can lose? I think no. Isn't Olaf... Wait, Olaf is banned. Oh my god, FlyQuest is so fucked. Yeah, they're actually so... They're getting absolutely destroyed in this draft. This looks like a C9 draft. Nah, 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 bro. There's no way that they're going to be able to fight. How can they ever fight? I think I think it's by saying I have nothing to pick you up. You should be me, Viego. People are smiling. I agree. <laughs> this has to be Maokai Rek'Sai, no? I don't think they need to go Maokai route. I think they can just end up going like, like Bruiser Jungler and they're fine. Yeah, Zin Zhao too. Zin Zhao, yeah. Like, it's not a good matchup for Zin, Zin Zhao, but I think you just need to make a like have a space creator, unironically. The jungle. There we have him. The spear is here. Oh, Jackson. Use the impact. It's going to be a Jack Jungle. Whoa. I like it. Okay, spicy. I don't like it, bro. I feel like he should just play like Udyr or something. Or Rek'Sai. It's time for Whippo Yasuo. I don't really like that. It's horrible. It's horrible. Yeah, I just feel like they had such a big advantage. I think if they slammed Rexa here, it was GG, by the way. I think Weepo might go Rexa. Oh, Spicy. I, I, I think that it's just so hard for them to play. Is that even laneable? 
Yeah, this is gonna be interesting though. Do you, do you Maybe it's lateable. I just don't think that they're like, how do their fights actually operate? Like, Annie's engaging with a GPL on top. You're praying that he can land some crazy barrel chains. Bro, I assure you, unplayable. In, inspired and whip are the type of players to know in draft that Annie sent out time one, two, three is fucking grief. <laughs> They're like, you know what, bro? The only way we Something. can win, you gotta play some crazy shit here. Like, did you see their faces? They are like low key, like giggling, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I guess we just have any. That, I mean, I thought they were just gonna go Ari here. Ari was up, right? I think if you play Senna Tom, you have to have a mage mid, like. You don't have to worry about a minion wave being built up on you. Gangplank always you have to be very wary about uh, early pressure. And we just got insane Turkish food at midnight, bro. If APA on his Aurelian soul actually does uh, find time to roam. Remember, APA, when he started... Out this has been a long soul, fucking day, man. The original Aurelian yeah. soul that was I'm saying Liquid win, I guess, map game, three, yeah. Uh, roaming beast. Uh, map course, three, I wonder why you use that terminology. Still should go for those <laughs> this is just so interesting, because in fact, he is... Map like, three. <laughs> There's so Map much three. How long this guy has been around? He won a world championship in 2013. <laughs> he has zero Lucian top games, zero Vayne top games, yeah. zero. Vayne I mean, I don't know. I think that uh, Team Liquid would have a 1.75 uh, percent chance. Percent. <laughs> uh, not percent <laughs> ratio. Wait, what is that even? <laughs> a 1.75. Well, how would you even describe that? Ratio? What the fuck? What's the terminology? In career wins, yeah, favorites. Yeah, like actually, I don't even know what to call that. There you go. Also, got to talk about Jensen. So, he is going grasp, and I've seen this where people go grasp and they go double scaling HP runes. Wait, fleet um, footwork GP as well. So, he has 1.75 odds. Yeah, but that doesn't sound right, right? Like, that's a, they have a 1.75 odds chance. Like, that just sounds weird. And as we're waiting on these minions to march down their lanes, Raz is standing by for an interview. Guys, nice. any has grasp. That's right. Terminology That's sounds weird. Hmm. Last game, bloody one. But what were your takeaways off of that, the loss? I mean, I just think it's uh, uh, it doesn't sound too bad, honestly, to grasp any you know, because you get shield bash axes, you get second wind, you have some good runes. So they're playing like. We, we call them stupid comps. But I think this like, matchup matchup is miserable no matter what rooms you, you know, go. So. Renekton, yeah. like two of the most fought thrice champions in the game, and we just didn't dodge and engage enough, so get rid of a couple of the picks. Makes sense. This one is an interesting one. So first of all, reactions on stage to the the missed ban from FlyQuest, but also a lot of people are talking about the Twisted Fate, just like the Twisted Fate top lane, because Impact is known for playing uh, non-carry picks. Just an overall reaction on the draft from your side. I mean, yeah, I, I actually talked about this when we signed Impact, that like I think the whole, oh, weak side top laner, tank player only is like kind of bullshit, to be honest. I think that he's actually a pretty good tank player, so uh, a carry player, so like where- Yeah, he's just a tank player. <laughs> that's a, like, I think that's just <laughs> that's a funny like, slip. On their team, so they're probably just like, I don't I don't think that Impact is a tank player. I think he can also play tanks. I mean, carries. <laughs> uh, he believes that shit. Did you like my acting back in the day, though? What was your acting? When I said that I fucked up when I picked Poppy. Wait, really? <laughs> I don't know. No, I don't even know this story. Post game interview, like uh, after draft interview. Oi! Hmm? Ooh! Medic asked me, so, so what can what can you tell about the Bumpy? And I just straight up say, I fucked up. Damn, you just said it on broadcast? Yeah. <laughs> but you didn't fuck up. No, of course not. This was like before Puppy Jungle was a thing. But it was a tech. <laughs> That's you just lied blatantly. Oh, you're just a liar. You're telling me you're telling me that they can't just pull the trigger and break Masu's neck here? They're just gonna steal away the Gromp and protect that Like, I don't know, bro. I think he's just dead. They send it. It's a Tom Kench that has QE. They have no heal. All they have is a cleanse. Nautilus Varus Jax. I think they just kill him. Yeah, Diego with this clear as well. Like, he was so far away. They had all the time in the world. Oh, Impact? He's fine, right? Inspired's coming up, but it's double mobility summoners for Impact. Spectrum all connects. Gold card back onto the oh. Remember, oh, this is like this thumbs. is like the first thing where you realize like wait are we playing a comp? <laughs> 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 
And still the first okay. moment where you start thinking like, hmm, calm and collected on the top well, a little bit strange. I think Wibble can get a sheen base here. Oh, never mind. It costs 1,000. 900, no? I was rounding up to put him back. Oh, okay. I think it's I think it's 950, guys. Even you see, this is one of the reasons that this is such a hard matchup, though. Generally, is because you can do the auto. Wait, is it actually 950? No, I'm lying. I will check. Sheen is 900. Okay. Yeah, he just gaslit me. Nice. Fucking. <laughs> oh man. What did Gillius become? Why did you make him listen to the Korean cast? This is your fault, Yamato. Well, do you think I could predict this outcome? <laughs> Probably, actually. I think you could. It sounds like fucking Pengu, dude. Just went from like, I don't know, you, Gillius was fine two weeks ago, you turned him into a gambling addict, and now he just says, and he's apparently gonna after every grow sentence. Weed. <laughs> and now he's just like, like, come on, bro. It's unreal. You're the worst influence. He's on a diet as well. That's a good I remember, I remember smoking a joint with my father, bro. He was fucking blazed. It was so funny. God damn. Look your dad. Yeah, I don't know. I asked him, like, do you want to smoke weed with me? He's like, sure, let's go. <laughs> he was <so laughs> pretty based. <laughs> okay. Oh, we just missed the cue on the minion. It's fine. He gets the sheen base. It's not much. <laughs> It's on its work. And now we scale. Pippo needs to reach level 13. Uh, it looks like a fun matchup there. Nice blind pick Annie. Yeah, I think it's really good to move. play like a burst mage into a champion that builds 75,000 health. Wait. Impact still trying to hang around, leave. get as many minions as he can. All right, it's boy, all base whip. He scares impact all the way off. Jason, cancel yep, him. Yep, yep, he will, he will, he will. Bro, we're getting our flash blown mid, so like. Important, what? Right? And he doesn't have TP. Just like that. What's happening here, bro? What is this fight? I mean, I guess it's the only way FlyQuest can win. They need, just need to make it ugly. Oh, we're TPing. And he's TPing. Here comes Annie without flash. No she flash. Tibbers. Annie with Tibbers out already. And Tibbers is done. But the Tibbers was also used earlier. Both mid laners have joined the fight. I don't know, bro. I don't know. It's terrible. It's terrible to watch. How oh, this one to three is illegal, man. Yeah, this draft is horror dog shit. <laughs> yeah, this this draft is just a coach diff, bro. It is what it is. This is like leaving up Yumi, bro. Uh, the they lost to Tom and thought it was OP. And I heard they beat it. Never know it beat it. They beat it and then they thought it was OP. Well, they lost to it in game one, didn't they? Yeah. When did he burn, a, burn his Tibertus? <laughs> Just casually on the uh, ASL. Yep. Bro, this dragon is just scaling, man. I don't know. At least top lane recovered a bit. Remember earlier on, it is going to be slower stacking, but once we get to the 20 minute mark or so, you're kind of looking for that. Temp looks so broken, but I. Yeah, I think this champ is so broken, man. I saw Caps uh, uh, practicing it in some of his stuff. Yeah. Who, who are we watching tomorrow, by the way, Elise? It's the winners match. We have uh, Vit versus BDS, G2 versus Fnatic. Holy nice. Pretty cool, yeah. That's a huge upload. Um, it can get hard later on, obviously, for the Tom Kench, though. I think he sent the video already. Pretty good at punching for you. Wave right here, kind of hovering right in front of tower. As well. They just clear out the vision for impact so we can try and make the most of it and then head on down. Let's see if Bumpty actually makes it in time. Yeah, they know that he's there because of the control ward as Jensen. Wait, Jensen has no flash. Trying to get away from he's the star. Turns the ulti right back APA wants APA. to trade ults like this. So good for him, I think. To fight anymore, yeah. but Inspired finally clears out the control ward. That's actually, never mind. Timbers is just 1v9. Timbers is just Wait, beating his ass. There in time, though. Yeah, they Holy chase shit. him right off of it. 
Wait, Timbers is just the most OP thing I've ever seen. But they are going to get some more Stardust off of that Timbers as well. So APA actually still pretty happy about those ult trades. And every time you ult trade, you are also getting Stardust. They can actually get five for every time you hit someone with your ulti. So honestly, not that bad. Core finds a hook. Nicely done from Core JJ. Hey, he ulted Busio there. From Busio well, it's just a pirate comp. <laughs> pirate comp, okay. Wait, I'm not seeing it. Is that a pirate? I don't know, Tom Kench is a fucking river homie and... What you play only Senna has more threat now for him in that isolated 1v1. He rushed Tappies though. He was it. a little bit on the back foot. Oh shit. Uh, I'm expecting him to go Shiv. That's pretty much what, what everyone does go these days on, on the TF top. But we'll see where he wants to go from there. And we also have to see how early he gets active on the map, right? Because you want to be getting out on the map, making things happen <laughs> they, with his TFL. This ward, this ward behind Dragon saw him get in there. Okay. Busio's got to be careful though. He does not want to overcommit in the box. Bro, they can actually fight it. They're kind of being Busio's here. And now an APA down here to help burn it away. There it is. Opti can secure that Drake. And get they it. were that was really nicely done. Yeah, overly yeah, scared. A little angle that APA took here to add the extra damage. Like Masu oh, had ulti too. <laughs> yeah, they just didn't know. I mean, the thing is, they just didn't know where. Uh, Godless was, but I think they should have. Sneakily picking up this dragon because they also had gotten the first three grubs. So even though you see Inspired and FlyQuest uh, with the mid priority into grubs now, it's not going to be like six grubs stacking for them. So right. not going to be super dangerous for TL. And TL actually taking the opportunity to use their bottom side presence to make sure. Just dive the uh, TF here or some shit. Extra damage on this tower, get some can you? He's got Tabi Ninja. Maybe Ghost Flash. Three, I think probably. It's not possible. Yeah. This is 3v1. Come on, Busio. Stand tall. Where's your armor, son? You got no armor. You've got HP, man. Oh my god, he lives. Oh. Wait, if they just Senna ulted, he's dead, no? Or Senna just ult down and it's just broken? That ult is probably just down. I think if Busio had a better distribution of stats, yeah. like if he's a little, like he would just live. If he had Ninja Tabi and Bami, he would live. Oh, fuck, my mom's birthday. I have to mute perfect. The dawning shadow does not do enough damage to kill him off. Whippo still looking for one last shot. The point blank pistol. And Whippo wants to be in this game, bro. That'll be a one for one given the top lane. Yeah, Busio TP's back. Yeah, that's the sensitivity of that. Dive on impact and got all his sums there as well. And they're pushing up mid. So there's action in all the lanes constantly here. I think Busio could have stayed under tower if they had GP. He just has 4,300 gold. No one was TPing down actually save him. In that 1v3 situation, yeah, you're the farming Tom Kent. Dom, um, when you like can, Donald please tell me how many stacks tankier, does Senna have. Not close to tanky, no. Meanwhile, it says so on the right side, Tommy. Going up to try and cover it is showing on your screen as we speak. They did leave up mid uh, for one minion wave worth of gold that Jensen was able to push in. I gotta say, man, top is looking a little cooked for impact. It's it's gonna be tough now. Essence Reaper already completed for Whippo, so now he has infinite mana. He's gonna be pushing, and he's he's. But imagine we just picked like a solid four or five here. We just went like a little uh. He's gotten a kill. Udir Zinjiao angle. And you're gonna be playing a Don't we just automatically win if we're TL? Gold carding people, so he's gotta find some sort of action on the map. No flash. Okay, Jensen and Inspired gonna try to get this kill Oh the my god, the coordination. Tears, but Umpty's ready to respond. Oh, the whole oh, game is oh, fucking oh. lost, isn't it? They finally kill impact off, but Oh the flash wow. is bad too. And Whippo's just getting one shot because he was looking top, wasn't he? Wait, Whippo was just looking top or what? You'll notice the split second that inspired sees umpty Jensen still flashes in for the play, but but he actually backs off. So inspired backs off once they. I mean, if anything, uh, Jensen still they not just kill umpty there? Through and it results in really big gains. Not sure. Like, or like Tibbers umpty and just like play it from there. Is going to be so strong. He's got his triforce now already. We saw him get a pinch. I feel like this is a really hard to kill. Yeah. You're gonna be a higher level inside. has tabbies APA as well really strong gets a kill in mid lane he's got the lead I was looking for that was seems so strange for to be able to highlight what you were talking about Kobe. yeah but that, that allowed umpty to go right in onto Jensen because Jensen it was inspired being a pussy over here because I feel like maybe they could have actually just killed TF if he sent it the other one because he flashes here they get the I was thinking if he if he yeah, fights earlier and he can ult deeper because of the execute from the replay and Busio is down. Important to point out in that top lane dive that inspired 
flashed when the turret shot was already in motion, so he loses that summoner spell for free there too. Team Liquid now up about one and a half thousand gold as turret plates are about to fall in 15 seconds. I mean, this this hot debate of uh, of impact on carries. You, we saw the video from Blippo at the very beginning of the day where he had this huge grin on his face and he's like, well. Impact. If he's not gonna be able to carry, then your team. Yeah, he's the one watching top row. What is he doing? Whoa. No, 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 whip. Whoa. Oh, I told you, bro. I told you. Holy. What the fuck? <laughs> what? The? He was so disgusted. Yeah, he was mega disgusted. A cop is playing. Path of Exile. Nice. What, what else can you say besides oof, man? When you die like that, you feel like a fool. He said, what are you doing? Watch your screen. That's what else you could say. <laughs> <laughs> he's letting Whippo know that he's going to want that one back. Team Liquid up 2,000 gold. They've got Rift Herald in their pocket. Yon sells Flash. Bro, Inspired had ult, but he's just... He doesn't want to go for it, I guess. Oh, he's just dead. Oh, yeah. The playable out of the heat for now and here comes core jj now he's got to be careful trying to get away from this one. i feel like Basu actually did a lot of damage there but just no one was sure going in onto the nautilus and that's going to be a benefit for tl because they have apa getting a tower on top side that's gonna be outer tower gold for the aurelian soul more stardust to oh i was so deflated from this game because the draft was so awful yeah uh, i'm hoping that flagless can fucking fight back in the in the coming game yeah i just don't know how your draft ever ends up like this yeah i guess you just feel like you can't give you just feel like you can't give center nautilus that that's how it must happen right like that's the thing that it stems from is they first pick the nautilus and then you're like oh we can't give Sen a nautilus but 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 is, it has to be like how could you end up blind picking any like how the fuck is that real you know yeah the whole point that's crazy ahead, you, you you blind pick annie because you want to invite no to just take away to pick tom to lock in your third so you are forced to pick third There's so many layers of it is terrible yeah, it's tough. That we saw from Annie last time around where the tippers was burning. I was fucking impact. There's no farming so well this game. Isn't going to be there as well. I think there's some co angles with bow to carry this game because Whippo is the hope for FlyQuest. He is fed on Gangplank. He has the lead. Gangplank is a very, very good uh, courier for money. This champion uses money incredibly well if you're able to hit your barrel chains later on but that is the key vision so that you can hit your barrel chains and really make use of the crits gp is one of those few champions in modern league of legends that you feel like can really pull off a 1v9 if you are playing it to the absolute ceiling of what yeah. it can do we know that whippo has been very fond of this champion in the past and the pressure is on now Airland home up here in this game and I think vision is so key. Like he's getting out coached or what? When there's you know multiple TF is basically a marksman, multiple marksmen over on the other side. Yeah. With range auto attacks, the barrels. Rain over and farmed them. 2015. In these later fights, uh, which nice make farming in that now too. Anything done. Plus you have this enormous amount of zone control from the rain over so good. That makes it difficult to actually walk up and even be able to get in range for these barrel combos because especially as you start getting more and more stardust and that e gets bigger and bigger. 2016 rain over was in like i was getting interviewed in korea and he, he was just the translator and yeah really built yeah. in elder dragon <laughs> Nice. Wait, is that where Worlds was in 2016? No, it was in NA, no? Yeah, it was in NA. It was a bootcamp angle. Back then, like, money was free-flowing, bro. We could bootcamp whenever the fuck we wanted. Really? Yeah. Holy shit. We bootcamped every time, every split, before every tournament, every... Oh, Bobo is about to suffer. Oh, actually, he's chilling. Wait, Umpty is in thing. Oh. Oh. oh, that's actually big hey. to go to the center. Ubu can soon play his champ, by the way. Definitely some big defense there. I think it's just going to stop at the one kill. This is just like mindlessly walking at them, though. I feel like this uh, really in Soul is too much of an issue, though. Yeah. I don't know. Like, oh, wait, this is good. Oh. There was no angle? There was an angle there, no? Yeah, no deep vision here for Team Liquid, so uh, they knew the rotation was coming over from sure, inside. Sure. Lucio, don't want to overchase there, even if you hit your skill shot. 
Three zero and zero in the Cerulean soul for APA one hundred and seventy four. I think they need to make miracles happen. Like GP, like to carry this game, needs to hit like fucking three battles in a fight. More of a frustrating issue for FlyQuest as Team Liquid will be happy to give resources to this infinitely. Moss was pretty well well off in the soul department at least, like eighty on eighty. Yeah. Was, okay. yeah, no, I mean he's played well, bro. He's doing the, the majority of the damage. I feel like Inspired is playing like kind of overly safe from what I've seen. I think a couple of these fights, he has to just send it. What the fuck is this Viego build, bro? You like this Viego build? Like fucking Trinity into Kraken? Like, I don't really like it. I feel like the Trinity fucking bases, like the components are so trash. They don't curve out well at all. I feel like that's what a big part of the big selling point for me with Kraken is like the Noom Quiver and Bow is just OP. Yeah, I don't really like building Triforce anymore, to be honest. This is another one where I think it's a, a little bit too close to tell. And in this mid game, I think the critical you know issue is going to be how to FlyQuest deal with the Team Liquid split push mm -hmm. because uh, impact is not going to stop. Static shift, twisted fate would double. I don't know. It's like the anime sense really the previous stole. game, even oh, though it's out in Italia, but that game like they're playing Kalista, Nautilus, fucking Lee, Renekton. Here with an Annie stun or an inspired here. stun. I mean, oh, Gilius? I got the same thing I always got. Ultimate and just trying to trying to pick people off. But TL, if TL are careful in their split push, I feel like they should be able to accrue multiple advantages. It's really interesting because I also think there's an argument for later on for actually just putting Jax in the side lane, have G have have impact. The Milky Way argument. Yeah, I like that. Humble heart steel, bro. <laughs> Fucking report him, man. This is LCS finals, bro. Jax is gonna scale so hard steel, man. Ain't no way. Likes his odds in that fight, just chunks out half of Inspire's health. This is give this mountain just straight up. Wait, APA doesn't have his big ult? Really? Oh, nice. We can't even fight for mountain. I'm sure that the game gets better when we give them a bunch of mountains and we're playing like Annie and Senna and shit. Didn't even get the. Oh my god. No way, Jensen. No way, bro. No way, no way, no way. That was so ugly, bro. insane from APA dragging inspired away from the kill onto umpty so neither team drops a champion but TL come out with the objective okay oh, Boosie is the same thing wait he's doing? tanky though he has heart steal all right proc it on impact Lick wait up. what's happening here JJ has no spell or what what happened to him? I don't know I don't know I'm actually shocked that he bought a heart steal this late in the game he's gonna get no stacks on that thing. wait he still doesn't have a stack on it does he yeah, currently Max Hell bro, it's so horrible, bro. It's really like, even horrible. on the first dive, he he like could have lived if he had armor, and he still has no armor. It's the first cloth armor of the game built. What twenty five minutes, bro? Wait, did you see Jensen here? Good. Thank you. Look at Jensen, bro. No, 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 no. I gotta show my chat in a second. Yeah, and then they limp away, and even though FlyQuest members do live in the end, their health bars have sustained too much damage. Up. So the objective and all these flashes critically Boom. the side of Team Liquid. They just burn Burger's food. It's the, like yogurt uh, flash, with uh. Flash, what meat is this? Well as the Busio flash. I'm back. I'm back. I don't think it's. It's either a lamb or beef. Lamb or beef. It's lamb. Get out of jail free card. Team Liquid, yeah. see if they can abuse that nice. advantage. Something that's Sorry, guys, really I had to wish my mom happy birthday. Around, uh, the falling sky I've right, yeah, never apologized for that. Sky's descent. Sky's descent. It's oh, it's falling star. Yeah, I got the yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so sky's descent. The upgraded ultimate. Shout out to Gillies as well. Maybe I don't know. For APA. So if you can try to force that out on my computer, okay. Before some sort of major fight, it's actually pretty critical because it is looks like shit. It's not that bad. That isn't just going horribly for the A soul when he has that thing. It's gonna splash on every single member that puts Rylas on. Why does it look so bad? That does lots of damage. Jensen now engaged. Damage. By Opti, they bring in the firepower from the gangplank cannon barrage to guarantee that Jensen gets out. But that's a big cooldown, man. Team Liquid. What? No, it's not. Happy to force that one as they continue moving forward, establishing vision lines and controlling. Gilly's mom's birthday. 
then they're actually potentially just gonna move over towards Baron area, try to claim vision. They can start threatening that because now no GP ulti, no any ulti. That's kind of what makes you scared to start it up. Is that AoE? Yawn though, caught Oh wait, he's not gonna flash yeah, that? Masu. What? Wait, really? Masu is trying to do so much work here, actually. I feel like he's stepping up and his team is really just like, the veterans need to watch their fucking Whoa, screens Jen's, and play the game. Uh, he was looking to be there to cut off the escape route if that engage worked out. Yeah, nice little shadow there that they try and use. Whip was doing solid, honestly. Like, he has good conditions in the game, but. Inspired has had a pretty poor series from what I expected in general, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I thought Inspired would play better. He just looks like not as aggressive as he normally does. Breathe a sigh of relief that nobody in game number in. two, I felt like he was like the early Lee Sin kill. He fucked it up. The Vi game, he did nothing. This game, it just looks like he's afraid to commit. Team fight again, where they get these resets for Inspired, where the gang flank pops off, and they just blow up a couple of the early. I feel like Lucio's trying to get it done. He just needs people to hit their shit. 16 relatively soon. He is 15. I'm not sure exactly how close he is actually getting 16. Let's see. It's gonna be a while. Um, but when you get that level three ultimate, plus you have, you know, Death's Daughter, the true damage in the middle, plus you have the triple crit items now done. I want like Sanus' food, by the way. Plus that center of the ultimate. I'm not eating uh, it. With a barrel chain can be. Right now. That's it. Like, that could be your full health bar as a squishy champion. So it does get. Bro, very, chat very said scary. it looked like shit. Actually, uh, you eat up after the game? Barrier. Uh, so what? I'm towards that Banshee's Bale, which I yeah, I'm gonna eat it after you. Oh, okay. oh, kill this guy. Big oh, Core's in thing. Oh, Core went in? Okay. This is really good for them. Open. Oh, maybe not. Then I want 12. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, Inspired didn't kill him. You have to go empty here, no? Oh, bad placement. Whipple. Damn. Do they, have, do they start it here or no? I'm, I'm down to start it, I think. With TP? No oh, maybe not. Maybe not, bro. Yeah, Look at Aesol. Dude, Aesol is broken or what? Is he, was, he had no flash, although they might be able to bait him in and then any TP, but like this guy just looks, I don't know, Aurelian Soul looks like the most broken champion in the game. Bucio has one stack. Bull should not get, uh, should not play this champ, not gonna lie. I mean, it's one of the champs he can play. It's just having a bad game, I don't know. Is respawning in three seconds, and Whippo won't come back for another 40. This is just really nice for MTL, and now they're gonna, I think, potentially start up the Baron. They saw that Whippo was around, he was trying to play that barrel game with APA, so they call up Impact, they pop the LT, they spot him out, they get that kill. They haven't started it up just yet, but with MT running back out, there is an angle for them to start and potentially look for the turn, so they're gonna be hitting it now, and it's gonna go down fast to this Varus, this TF, and this Aesol. It's so much Baron DPS for TL's side. It's on the cards here, I think. You can see they're contemplating making some kind of an approach. All right, Inspired. There's just no way. Just no they're not gonna even try. Guess they're just gonna go Drake. What was no TP? I don't even know if they can. I guess Aaron Zor has no TP. LCS finals, reminder that sometimes it matters even more what you do after the team fight. so slow too. Around, poking the Baron, couple of extra autos, little bit of extra damage. No flash on Yeon here. Up to the minion wave, and TL Jensen has flash. Of it. We finally see impact with a huge twisted fate ult to get them the pick that results in Baron. And now the better split push team has the also do some damage to split push with. He annihilates the turret on tower side. Uh, on top side there, a nice little sneaky dragon here from FlyQuest, but they're gonna lose so much of their base. Okay. Oh, flash. Okay. Oh, he almost choked it, but it's fine. It looked, it looked like he was getting ready to choke it. No. Yeah. He had like some weird movement there. That was some. That was an echo moment. Yeah, there was just like some like uh like. It was like I'm gonna fucking timbers him like. Yeah, exactly. I felt the tension. Like if he was a Formula One driver, that split second would be a crash. Maybe winning a championship before Bo and upset. Bro, Bo hasn't even really been close. I guess he got a third place. He was two series off one split. This has been in a final. We already have the Banshee. He's been in two finals. Impact, you could probably 100 0, but like, maybe just one. Cares. He's not really the important member. But upset? It's really tough yeah, upset. How many finals has he been in? Uh, he was in finals so with the. Uh, Chalke? Was he? Uh, I couldn't remember. Yeah, oh, yeah. was he in the Amazing Finals? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So two. 
constantly Bro, it's 27 it. HP from heart steel. Yeah, it's a horrible item. Were they in finals with Origin in spring? On top of that, they've also got a twisted fable. Well, that was Patrick, right? Or, that was probably that was Patrick. Coming, so. In G2, 2019. Oh, it's cold. Yeah, it was in Schalke then. When A joined Origin the next year. Jensen and Busio having a back away. That tier two is not long for this world. Jan gets rooted, but it's not like there's going to be any follow up to it, really. The APA positioning. Liquid, up almost 5,000 gold still. I feel like they do such a good job of checking their vision boxes first. They move in, they get their wards, they pop the Twisted Fate ultimate, they slowly and safely take the tower. And you can see how much range APA has now you know, on that Q over the wall. He's just spamming the Q out. He has. His singularity takes up about two thirds of the lane at this point. It's so much. It's man. very difficult to actually play around, especially when there's additional poke and whatnot that's going to be thrown out too. Yeah, and he's got a full two level lead onto Jensen here. Uh, you can see the experience bar, the little uh, purple bar. Look, good says why not? Icons there. He's, he's almost oh, halfway to, to 17 as well. Meanwhile, Jensen here sitting on the Annie has had a pretty rough time and you can see the same thing is true in bot lane you know yan is is level 14 he's closing in on 15 he's gonna be 15 about the same time as masu and busio are actually 13 so uh they have some major level leads. oh um, Ting, again gonna get locked up pops the counter strike dredge line from core ain't gonna hit anybody take a fight with gp in this choke no corruption don't lock down fly quest long enough for team liquid to make a what the fuck did i just see fly quest they are praying for the barrel chain to turn it around Wide Whippo needs to make oh, is fucking here. fed. If he gets LDR somehow, maybe, just maybe. Maybe Mouse he carries the game, bro. Yeah. About to get really ridiculous because, like, we can go to LCS Drake and this game is taking terrible amount of time. This guy, nope, can't flash tippers. This guy, you know, really making it harder and harder and harder. Uh, umty, you know, probably going to be getting something a little bit tanky as his next item. I don't know if he's going to go towards GA or just a full on tank item. I think either are completely reasonable choices. You just GP is sure also fucking breaking with Viego the sound barrier or something. And if I think yeah. that doesn't happen, it's going to be so yeah. hard for Black But he's fucking. I don't really, know I don't like it. Do you like the stopwatch from Umpty? I don't like it, bro. I'd rather him just build. Resist yeah. or like Starax or some shit. Bro, like Randwins is crazy this game. Yeah, I'm down with that too. Everybody has fucking 100% crit chance on enemy team. He's so in his comfort zone. Even if you pick him off inside lane, even if you get kills on him early on, he knows how. It's strange to go stopwatch. I just feel like it's like you have to get the perfect stopwatch off, and like a lot of times you can just get CC'd in one shot. It's not the player we need to worry about. It's like in terms of the pattern of of play, like stopwatch is just not good. It's very hard to stop watch stables and the rest, like everyone is very happy to set up battles and whatever the fuck. Specialist, quite the controversial, uh, you know, member of the team as well. But I feel Brandon is so OP on the defensive item. Otherwise, I think like, you can even consider. Uh, nah, probably you just need to buy armor. Like this is armor. Team Liquid still with control of the whole rift. Dom, if you could try any profession for a day, what would you pick? I would become a member of the league balance team and I would fix the game. I would peace out. What else? What, you, what else would I try for a day? Where Flyquest wants to be grouped as five, looking for these fights, you know, getting that one shot, getting that engage. He's just constantly going to draw you down and make someone respond to him. Flyquest trying to push out down the mid lane here. And once he's again, called you Super Mario, dude. Yeah, bro. Battle, I don't know about this fight. Okay, oh, Impact. 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 Impact griefed it. Whoa, oh, Impact. Inspire didn't buffer, bro. He didn't... Oh, wait, he had an ult. Never mind. He already oh, ulted. Really, oh, what is he doing? Fucking, a, a raid boss. All right, it's GG. Wait, he's somehow not dead. APS W reset. Here he comes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it is. He's floating. Wait, what is that E for? Did he, oh, he did it on the Tibbers to stop the Tibbers. Yeah. And he has another reset. Let's go, Jensen. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, my, my dad bought my mama a cat. Gets their Damn. All right. Wait, I send it to you. On the TF top, APA on the Aurelian Soul mid, and Team Liquid is going to match point. Bro, wait, TL is about to win LCS. Aurelian Soul for APA, fully stacked bounty.
Team Liquid cruising to another victory here as they move to two and Look one. at him, by the way. I'm going to live with this really little good dude. Game on the and another great game here Damn, what's team his team name? Noah. Noah. <laughs> Why you shake your head at me? FlyQuest bounced back in a major way in game two, but what? game three, again, pretty one-sided. It really only felt like top lane went the way for FlyQuest that yeah. they would have hoped. Whippo got an advantage, was able to, you know, get this bad base timing for impact, you know, created an edge there, but it never amounted to anything because they're on the back foot so heavily. They couldn't really Thanks. find the angles to get those fights mm. that they were looking for. And he was kind of tracked in every single team fight. And when you have a split push advantage like that and they keep on using it, that's Honestly, really if you like League of Legends, how can you not like Impact and Core JJ, man? Leads. And then they're eventually able to push the minions on the side so that you have Core to was like running it you can see the pressure like two years. Kind of yeah, still, doesn't matter, man. What a dream. That's when Honestly, he screamed with us and then he started running it down at 2022 Worlds. Yeah. Spells, plus his QSS, he was running it before that, I think. Really? Oh, I honestly, oh yeah, Bupo Core JJ was not looking great. He's the strong member, they immediately go for him, they fly in on top and they drop the singularity. He's on the run right off the bat, has no opportunity to be able to actually find the barrel combo. Tactical first year tactical core JJ was pretty strong. Yeah, it was really strong. The first year it was really tactical. That was running it. One more game would give them their first title since 2018. What? This is where we sit. That's crazy. That's never happened before. I posted a picture of the Busio hot steel. Then one guy said, "I'm not saying it's correct, but I think he's doing it for the scaling extra range on Q to help engage versus the ranged." That is crazy. Ben definitely had an. An aneurysm looking at the draft right Yeah. <laughs> we need yeah, to baby proof this guy's apartment. This game. Wait, what is the wait, what is the tech? I don't even understand what the tech is. I don't know, like he's saying that Tom increasing in size, increasing his tongue range. So he can engage. I think the games fly drafts correct around ball lane, they win. And I guess I God bless you. By like a third of a unit? Weird that they don't they, they, they ban smolder to give yon a champ it's actually so fucking good this place in the playoffs mm. also a adana grill house bro when they kind of pick shout out into smolder, oh adana grill house is crazy i know this place when and then they get virus they get stomped in lane the whole game that tower mm -hmm. then to roams and Buzik gets i got lamb and yogurt done. Side either. So like, with the, the bread this champ, we don't know how to play and it's yeah, so it's good it's clear that they don't like the senna side of senna smolder yeah yeah, yeah. and that was evident across yeah. the game one to the game three draft because smolder was locked and they picked kaisa in game one and that's yeah. that's paying off later in the series also weirdly i don't know i think that they just ban. completely yeah. griefed yeah. their their yeah. draft yeah. by quest so play Masu. <laughs> i don't know it feels like in game number two right like they had so many buttons and that's why they succeeded like they had it's the old they were able to engage Losing, they had oh, Annie, they, they had Lee Sin, they had Nautilus. Renekton, they had, Nautilus. they had Nautilus, like yeah, they had so many things that they could actually play. It's actually wild how where they could actually like, like start fights and they just went to like one of the hardest like, comps to play I've ever seen. We we're doing that in a final. Like it's the worst adaptation they could have made. Like all right, all those buttons work for us. We looked really nervous before. Now let's go zero buttons. When these two teams Joe each other last time, mm -hmm. it felt like even in the TL wins, FlyQuest was the team that had a little bit more tempo on the map. Oh, they're showing they the FlyQuest highlights. Mm -hmm. In this series now, with these two teams playing each other again, it kind of feels like TL are in that position, right? Because they did have some good positions from which they could have won in game two as well. Yeah, yeah I agree. This, this right here even... Uh, was a bit of a wild sequence that FlyQuest did bounce back from. They, I mean, I'd say game two was. Bro, well, FlyQuest look like they're uh. But they had that two v two. They're like they mentality gap. Like they want, they yeah. they feel like they're expected to win. Looks like they're kind of choking. Yeah. Tails is just playing. And the replay starts like pretty late because a lot of the times it looked like they were still looking for a hook. They didn't want to make it a 50-50. Yeah. <laughs> but Varus was playing in such a way that like he couldn't really hook him. He hooked him into a terrain, so he wasn't displaced. There's a lot that happened in those fights and. Going from game two to game three. Right, kebab pizza with like white sauce. Of these games can till just off of That's one a Swedish thing. From either team. 
which is fun for a spectator. The the kebab kebab the white sauce. With the white sauce. So through two games. <laughs> it's a Swedish thing, bro. Don't disrespect, man. Man. <laughs> Swedish people don't eat cum, man. The first game, 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 game. Swedish people respect. eat pasta with ketchup on it, bro. That's all I need to know. Yeah, but we have Felix ketchup, then he had the good. Yeah, this game kind of slowed it down. Oh! It, it was still it really I don't good. care what you have. Of, like, combined kills for a minute. And it felt like the, the, the switch flipped really quickly. There were a lot of blunders, as you mentioned, like this play's happening top lane. Don't look at mid lane oh, no. at all. Why oh, ruin pizza? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> no. As Aurelian Soul gets the most Mickey Mouse kill mid lane. Uh, <laughs> so, like, a lot of that happened early yeah. on. Felix ketchup? What's Felix ketchup? I also feel like this game against FlyQuest Best ketchup draft. They're playing this like kite back bottom lane and top lane But they're playing a full scent mid jungle Yeah like, What did he do with it? Wait, is it a meme? With a center, you gotta play at Viego and I don't know <laughs> yeah. And absolutely, yeah. especially and then, and when top. Especially when Mons Mossy was spending a bunch of time top lane in this game Yeah, yeah. yeah. Having the And I will say, they probably got the cough guard by impact, TF, line pick Yeah But they're like, uh, wait, but what do you want? Uh, GP GP, it's been from the LO And then they're like, okay, whatever and I mean, there were times when it's bro, the Wibble like, combo is so rough to watch, man. Like, it was a good answer, Fuck. right? Like, we were watching these late game teams. I just feel like you don't have to be this creative to win. Like, you can be creative, but like, I feel like Wibble's best games oh, yeah. this playoffs have been on like Renekton. What happened to like his Rumble, like Gragas, bro? What happened to these picks? What do you do because they're so hamstrung with their honestly? This game, I don't know what the fuck you pick on five to save this game, like it's fucking impossible. Like, you need to pick a champ to 1v5 somehow. Yeah, that's true. You just have such a useless cast. I'm sorry, TL on blue side, banning Renekton, forcing TL. And really quick, really, really quick here, this is their playoffs so far. The first series was 3 2 playoffs so far, two, four and four. Two team liquid, and these are team stats. So just such a close. Okay, series. team stats. Wait, why do they have the a fucking whip one code? <laughs> yeah, what the hell? That's like the most confusing <laughs> image of all time. Like, let me show you team stats. Let me put two players there and put their roles. Like, what? That's such a, that's a, such an unintuitive way to to like display that. But okay. So what's happening, bro? In the Greek theater, Chizven. That's my head in the background. Don't I actually don't know what's going on. Oh, this is images. Bro, this is moving way too fast for me, bro. Now one game away. They're like, let me show you these players with the championships that, that are not relevant to the stats yeah, that we're showing, showing right next to them oh, no. at all. And here's some other pictures. What? <laughs> hey, man. For sure, Impact Muse. Look at that chin, man. Maybe it's an Impact. No Impact, no win. Oh, maybe. That was true for EG. We're talking about Code J all the time. What about Impact? Maybe he's the difference maker. His tank TF. <laughs> the QSS Tabby's TF. I mean, what's interesting is Whippo has not. You know, Impact says something super base to me, bro. In the playoffs, and what is it? I met a, I met him in solo queue, and he's like, "Bro, why don't I see you playing like anymore? Why are you not high elo?" I'm like, "I don't really like play that much anymore. I haven't really played a lot since like 2021." And he's like, "Well, you should just be high elo. Do you see how dog shit high elo is? Do you see how dog shit these players are?" Is one game away. <laughs> you should play. <laughs> you should play and be better than them. I'm like, yes, sir, bro. Okay. If they can bring it home nice. After the break. Stop cursing them. <laughs> That's just how you talk. <laughs> it was some motivation. It's hard to fight the Drake. They're going in. A so we're going. Give it up. Yeah. I'm flashing out. No, no, it should be a good there. fight. I missed ult. Look, J, J, he flashed in. I can't eat you. I'm coming to reposition. Coming I, need, I, need, I need help. I need help. You don't have ether. Jens and comps. I missed ult. Okay, don't, don't mm -hmm. flash DF, can we hit DF together or not? DF, no flash, DF, no flash. Annie, look here, look here. Yeah. I'm kind of out of oh, position. Barrels. Out, they're they're solo. Just run, 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 run. I missed That's every fine. barrel, sorry, bro. Yeah, let's just chill. Yeah, I, I agree. For flashes. Just uh, wait on my item, and if I don't carry, you just report me. Yep, I can carry too. It's okay. No, no, I'm just saying, like, yeah, I, yeah. I just want me to this game. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Let's, let's bro, I don't know what game he's looking at. I don't think you should want to be that. giving his homie some hope, you must I would just say we report the coach. Next game, when we okay, look, when we get on stage to draft next time, just ignore everything our coach says and just only listen to me. Yeah, 
I want one kill. Yummy! Nice oh, time. Nice good job, guys. Good job, nice Ian. Down. Nice carry. Yep. Oh. Nice carry. Yeah. There's just too many expansion packs with the Thorin lore. Yeah, Thorin lore is just fucking too insane, bro. It's like a, like, you know how Monopoly, like, make games out of, like, every fucking... Mm -hmm. uh, Thorin has a beef with every country. <laughs> he was beefing with, like, uh, Turkish fans. <laughs> he was like, he was like, you guys are not even top eight countries that hate me. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't make top 8 in this tournament, and you know top 8 countries that hate me, like, this fucking... <laughs> yeah, I only got two countries that hate me right now. I'm slacking. All I got is, like, all of Spain and all of France. See my tweet after a super loss today? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like Jesus reply. Yeah. Bro, I, I, are, are you like me where you always click like the uh, show additional replies just to see that it's a porn bot every time you get like excited because like sometimes it's somebody like talking shit and it's kind of hyped yeah yeah i click <laughs> it every true. time and it's always fucking good pussy in bio bro <laughs> non-stop man and then you were playing against team liquid and were able to come back is there any commonalities you have uh when you're down one two or if you're up two one to actually close in on a title all right my stream is froze it's, it's all on the Never mind, videos to how they deal with losses. Fucking drafted it, man. I'm fucking hyped. That draft was dry, empty. Don't tell me the banning already was sold to pick any again. Better not be. And if the rookies aren't handling it well, then calm them down and give them some easy to play next game. Yeah. 
If you're down zero two, it's full count for time. Is it insanity a referee now? I don't think insanity is a referee, bro. Just full comfort. But if you're up two one for Team Liquid, is there any difference in the approach? I imagine. All right, Ari is open this time around. Yeah, Teal is on. The band reacted instead. Last time. So it's important that Fly wants to do the same thing in the first game with small changes like banging the Asol. Ziggs is open. The band already on instead, and they open red. Saying that they can win the Kalista matchup. Yeah. I'm guessing Teal wants to play a melee sport this game, like Nautilus. Renata is out. Nautilus. And there it is. Yeah. Just banning with Renata for that purpose. I feel like Nautilus first because he's better, no? If they have Nautilus. Yeah. When Renata is out. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. I think that they're afraid of uh, the weird Callista lanes that Core is willing to play, especially on red side. Yeah. Like, this is such a hard draft already for Kalista. They did the same the last time, and Mas was not doing much that game, honestly. Are you picking to Talia here? Yeah. Yeah. I have to be Ari Vai, no? Go Ari. So slam Ari Vai. Yeah, I think you go Ari. Or they go Liani. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> That's a strong mid jungle. Is it just gonna be Jax? Is he just feeling the Jax or is it just Varus on three? Varus on three? Yeah. yeah, Varus and then like they can play a tank jungle here too, like Hope for L. Like Fly has to ban a lot of shit here. Yeah, like, you can even just fucking pick Poppy for like a Poppy, Rel. This has been a straight up 17 hour day. Started watching Pro League 17 hours ago. That's what's up, baby. That's the grind right there. It's been a wild day, man. Five games, LCK. Yep. Into OMG collapse, into weird Twitter shit and Reddit shit. <laughs> what, you mean my weird shit or like what, what else? Yeah, the Reddit shit was fucked and then the whole fucking match fix conversation. I just got called, bro, it feels like it, like I've been called a, an emotional abuser for days now. It was like 10 hours ago. He's taking a little bit of a back this game. And giving a bit more agency to his following. I do like the twisted fate ban only because there were moments. I don't know. Uh, you know clear ways they banned TF, they're so they're there. gonna get Rel or Poppy on four, and then it's just GG. I think. Um, going into this game, I, it's interesting. It should be Poppy, but thrown into four five. Like I think you. I don't know how much I trust it. I don't like Poppy into any. no way you. Yeah, I mean he's probably just gonna play it into Callista Lee, no? You play against a Sejuani. Callista Lee, and then odds are the top laner Bip wants to play is also gonna be heavily disrupted by. Actually, it's all off this game. Yeah, it's all off this game. I think for Wipo. So what are you playing Super 2? Doesn't Busio also just want to play Rakan? Ah, they go Rel instead. I don't see why you'd go Vi, bro. Yeah, I don't like it. It's Rel or Poppy for sure. Poppy? It's gotta be Olaf. Has to be the rail is just unplayable against Talia and Poppy. There it is. Good, I like that. Olaf, nice. Olaf. Rumble support, okay. I'm down. Oh, he said he'd play it. No matter what. Uh, yeah. I kind of like it, man. I like that. I think it's well, it's, it's a good rotation against what they are showing, but it doesn't pair super well with what they have. I guess you have to pick your poison. Do his thing. It's not easy to find champions that are good against Poppy and... It's also a pick away from Impact, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, true. Impact gets this champion on last pick, though. Yeah, but that feels... That's the cost. Oh, I, don't, I think it sounds as well as ever here. It was a big enough of a problem last game. TF and Jax took up the ban slots. I will say he's okay. self-counting himself, though. Well, honestly, 4-5, Loki. Olaf is very good against... I like it. In our team. Solid so save. definitely have that kind of impact that we've seen. From him, his it just seems like they wanted yeah. to just have a front line, and I like the draft a lot more for FlyQuest this time. Olaf line is just a great Same. Yeah. I think we might have to. We might be going to the Sosa, but obviously without Sosa. This is the kind of draft that I think but both teams did well. I don't know. They still did a lot of inaccuracies, man. Like. <sighs> do not want to pick Nautilus. It's like last time they won with Karista. Like Karista did, didn't do shit, by the way. Like. She had one moment to shine and they fucked up the Ren Smite on, on Nash. 
Like that game was single-handedly carried by the Renekton. Yep. They've got Gwipo on the Olaf inspired back on that Lee Sin that he's been popping off with. Yeah, this is going to be an exciting game. It's all or nothing here for FlyQuest. They are up against it. They got to win back to back, and they're doing it with yeah, just an this is, absolute this is game crazy five. FlyQuest on the stomp them early game. On, run at you, run <laughs> over you. We'll see if they're going to be able to make it happen. All right, Caria one with it. The support rumble can Busio replicate here. Honestly, as far as the the comps overall are looking to me, this is reminiscent of the game that FlyQuest won. I think, you know, playing into three Team Liquid tanks with a lot of playmaking options, again, Inspired got his lease in. Uh, I actually think that FlyQuest here have set themselves up with a very good chance to push us to a game five. Numbers, I mean, numbers is different. Your viewership is almost the same. There was a point where I think it was higher on YouTube than it was in on my actual Twitch stream. Yeah, YouTube is Honestly, different. They are so fucking polite with the, the recommended. Like streams are showing up of people that you subscribe to, like always. Yep. They are really, really like generous. If he can make it work here, because Rumble, even just the base damage. I always see your stream. It's like the when when it's on YouTube, it's the first thing I see, man. Damn. YouTube recommended hooking me up. this guy. He is toast. Worth pointing out. One thing that's different from a lot of the previous games, Whippo here running the Flash and Ghost on Twitch Olaf, chat more. So I read almost only Twitch chat. To there compared to the YouTube, they don't chat that much. Yeah, you know they what chat, what but they like, like I am one they're mainly just I watching. One in this game. I can carry with double uh, mobility summoner spells. Analysis was kind of touching on it, but an Olaf runs. They're invading the Raptors here. And we'll have to see, you know, if you can actually... I think the accessibility of YouTube makes it, it can go bad really, really fast so like accessible on, like, TVs. Because yeah, I don't have Twitch on TV. This is actually pretty big. Yeah, it's huge. Wait, he didn't nice. get, uh... Oh, wait, wow. did Wibble get... Will he miss the top one or something? I think so, yeah. I think Wibble stole one uh, on accident. Oh, he didn't even get two off the wave mid? Oh, he did get two off the wave mid now. Regardless, it's gonna okay, be got Base from whip push umpty to the bottom side and then cross through mid lane mm -hmm. to go raptors raptors here uh so it's going to be a nice lead for oh fuck my touch well, is my level you up to win 2v2s on top side and if you can get your your top side jungle ahead in an going. olaf matchup poppy doesn't realize that he crossed back for raptors poppy trying to invade enemy raptors but he's did he not go through oh, the mid lane uh, minions? Maybe it's not invade enemy raptors at all. Maybe this is the great mid lane. Mm -hmm. And he's just going to try to steal. Wait, he's going to be level three. Inspired doesn't have smite. Inspired does not have smite. He's going to be level oh, three. Oh, he's smite. not level three? Two raptors and mid experience? Plus Krugs. I thought it'd be level three for sure. Hits Umpty. APA is waiting over the wall. Umpty secures. I think they win it. He just has to. They have to just go Umpty, I think. Inspired with only 400 HP. No W. Oh, he tried to land the angle. He hits three, he hits three, he hits three. Oh, he hits three. W. Oh, the flash. Oof. Oh. It's two, though. Two for one. Big. Wait, did I see a shield? What do you mean? Did Jensen E himself? I think he did it after, no? Or he he eat himself originally to get the stack for the uh, stun at the beginning. Okay, because I, cause I, I thought I saw the animation of Lee, Lee Shield or, or something while he was alive. Oh, what is Wibble doing, brother? What did he just do? Oh, oh, shit. What's happening? Oh, he's, he's dead, right? Oh, uh, I'm Dino Flash. I'm Dino He's water walking. What the fuck did I just see? Nah, Wibble's a psycho for that, bro. What the hell? Ain't no way that's good. Oh my lord. Actually sucks for Umti, he spent a lot of time walking here. He missed out yep. on Honestly, bring back Harry. Alright, calm down. Oh, he's invading the, the poppy still, by the way. This is so big. Cassandra has TP. No flash, no E. Where's the Tila? Cassandra's coming. They have to, he has to realize Cassandra can move. And now inspired. We'll lose out on the large chicken as well. APA with a nice seismic shove on Jensen. He trades back on the back into that. I don't like this from inspired. Yeah, yeah he's forced. wasting his 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 tempo. Like he's grieving his tempo. He's already ahead. He's going again. He's going to invade your jungle before three minutes. Yes, smart advantage. Now he kind of has to. Yeah, now now it's smart. 
wave and <laughs> yeah. in front of it's like it started off like so, kind of grief now it's good Bobo did not go down in that no fight very nice very nice okay he's already popped the steadfast presence yeah. inspired steals away the red the jungle now cross and go to bot crab i think i've met that yeah, yeah dive mid is down i'm i'm, I'm uh, nautilus is moving up i think it's kind of oh, oh well. jensen no jensen, nah, jensen, jensen bro that's grief yeah jensen Oof. I'm gonna spell it soon, very he has soon. No, he has no ward, right? He has no ward? Oh, he's, is he just dead? Oh, could JJ you don't flash? Oh. He does, he does. Okay, okay. Bro, Jensen, bro, that's a shutdown too. That's crazy, Jensen. That's so crazy. You can't be doing that. All right, Busio tanks us. I like it. I'm have lived, I think, but I probably not. He would have to flash up, but it was just someone else's. What are they doing? Jensen is uh, choking. Right now. Crazy how Bupo and fucking Jensen just fucking get knocked into the turrets, man. Yeah. I mean, how is Blibble lading so poorly? He only has 20 CS at six minutes? Isn't that like crazy low? I don't know how big this top wave is. Is that like fucking three waves or? Either way, isn't it still low? No matter what? They also need to really cover Whippo on this crashing wave because the wave was so bad after he actually died. And this massive wave has been stacked up here from Impact. You have got to be That's able to farm creep, that. So. Yeah, I mean, he didn't die, but yeah, I know it. They all means. be safe, but you want to be up there to cover. All right, Master's under tower here, so I think Team Liquid are going to be able to try and burn this. Right now, feels bad. You could have still rumble and you're losing the rate. With Lee Sin, quite Jensen six as well. I don't think they go for this. He wants it. Umpty's ready with a steadfast oh. presence. Inspire jumps into the pit. Oh, he got it. Oh, he got it. Wait, they actually oh, win the fight too. Huge. Wow, what a robbery, man. Wow, that is crazy, bro. That is a fucking robbery, man. Big. Give us a game five. Come on, whip. I mean, at this point, we're already so deep, we might as well just get a game five. We must. Like, Weibo's at 10 o'clock tomorrow, bro. It's all good. Wait, it's 10? 12. 12. 12. Is it 10 or 12, bro? Please stop fucking with me. It's at 12. Didn't finish off the Krugs. What time is it actually? <laughs> <laughs> it's at 12, bro. I checked. Yeah, I checked, but everyone said it was 11 today, and then everyone was oh, it's wrong. 12. It's at 12. April Fools. Not in much shape for fighting. He heads into the top side river looking for some fruits. But Umpty's ready. What is he doing? Whippo, he goes CC immune. He wants to eat the fruit. Eat the fruit. What is he doing, though? Wow, this guy's such a grief. Yeah, good for him getting back in, but now inspired. Did you guys have trust the fire flyer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so fucking mad right now. Yep. Yeah, so did I. Oh, Makes man. sense. That was, that was the first to five, by the way. Yeah, Stop yeah, we both had it. I don't even know, but like, Wibble's playing this whole series like so weird compared to his normal form, I think. Like, his GP barrels were awful. His Renekton death to Cassante was just like the most dry thing I've ever seen. And they keep on every time a jungler shows, you immediately get the opposite side play, going for these tower dives, willing to sacrifice themselves. But the health management on that last uh, tower dive was so good uh, with the timing for the ult there and then going right back in. I gotta say, Impact has really been getting the, the better. What was match fixing? I mean, that's what if it was a LPL chat, 100% everyone would be saying it. My LPL chat, anytime there's a mistake, he's match fixing. It's le way less egregious stuff than this, by the way. But at this point, it's. He'll try to run up into the brushes, see if he can juke him away. He flashes brush brush and escapes the game. Yeah, he lives this time. I think the biggest takeaway from the early action, though, is the CS on bottom lane because it keeps resulting in FlyQuest dives on bottom lane. The kills are pretty even, but FlyQuest keeps on getting all these big minions up to the tower that keep dying. This CS lead is going to grow even more because they have a double, triple stack. In theory, like every game, all the players are match fixing because they're trying to win. 
the rookie for okay. FlyQuest in his first finals up on stage with all these veterans and now put in position where this Callista, this champion so solid. I don't know, bro. I was down with the Olaf pick, stages, but be very fed and I mean, very he just fed. looks like so weak. I don't know. His CS is so low, I feel like. Inspired coming around, there was pings. Oh, APA immediately flashing back underneath the turret. Okay. He knows that Inspired would be a ready flash to him into That's going to be a kill. Yeah, sure Drake is be done for sure. Papa Chaka is also very poor. Um, so I, was just I don't like the bomb buy with the Doran's blade. Like it looks so like it's fucking. Bob the builder man. <laughs> we also have to see, you know, Ken I mean, I, I wouldn't mind it if he actually was like building some some Sunfire item, but he's actually just going bombies and then he's going Ice Val. So it's like pretty shit. That can be really difficult for you to deal with. You know, does that lead really amount to as much as... Blue Sorry, brother, what did you say? Wait, what happened? No, I just completely spaced out. Bro. I just no, I said I, I wouldn't mind the, the Doran's Blade if you go Doran's Blade and then you go, like, a full tank item, but he's going bombies and then he's going Knight's Fell. So it's like... Yeah, yeah. He's going to build two things before he gets... Uh, the benefit of Knight's Vow is just gone. Yep. You're supposed to get it before anything else. Oof, I need to set up straight, bro. I sunk into a dark place in this moment. <laughs> I'm back, bro. Julius and I both sank there, too. I'm sinking, sinking, too, yeah. I am sinking. Uh, it's yeah. Why is Whippo here? Just got a I don't know, bro. A turret plate here now too. Yeah. Whippo's even running down there, trying to maybe potentially look for something. That ward over the wall that spots out Umpty is gonna let FlyQuest know. Exactly Problem is, on. Jensen used his teleport, and so Impact has teleport advantage from top side of the map now with that swap. Okay, so now we're gonna get a pro view of this escape. This is the view from umti's eyes <laughs> and you can see how confusing it can look with those brush to brush flashes hey i mean after he flashes if he flashes and goes he's it doesn't matter if it's brush to brush he can flash anywhere and he's probably good oh 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 no nice calisto save his homie Inspired is up grabbing that second set of grubs at the He answered the fate's call. Okay. Hey, Chambers is not going to protect you from these beers. Oh, that guy's just dead. 50 G's, baby. What the fuck? I thought his gank was on cooldown. But he would have needed about a hundred more damage. Now, oh, Matsu, still trying to stand and farm here underneath the turret, and Yon and Umpty will not be able I'm to kill him. I'm making a joke. Yeah, well this is really good again. Use that heal from Yon to save him. But this is again, it's gonna be early armor stack from Impact because he's up against this Whippo Olaf, and then you just move the Annie into that lane where all of a sudden you have uh, armor and you have a Sheen, and that does nothing really for you against that Annie. Yon now has the record, passing up FBI for most kills in an LCS playoff. Well, I look sus today. Yep. I mean, they're up 2K gold. It doesn't feel like they're up gold. Is, is it just me or does it feel like they're losing? I guess Umpty is just 40 CS. Oh, Busio is running it for fun. Well, so you need to fucking calm down, man. So dying, man. It's Drake time. APA has no flash. Annie has the flash. Annie has flash. Rumble is ult, bro. They can layer it on top. I want to see a rumble ult on APA's forehead. Make a lachmachun of this fucking APA, man. Make a lachmachun? Lachmachun, bro. As well. Absolutely. And I mean, there's just a lot what does that even mean? Oh, Yun? Oh, yes. All right, they, they, you better give this Drake. Flashes. You guys better give this Drake. Callista's basing. Why is Callista basing? Bro, we're, we're fighting this Drake. We're fighting this Drake, by the way. We are fighting this Drake. That is crazy talk, man. Dude, how are we not fighting this Drake? We have Annie. There's no flash. Halia doesn't have Seraph's completed yet. The fucking Poppy has. Look at his Poppy. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the Poppy's items, bro. What is that? 
MT out, but doesn't look like he actually secured What's that combo, man? I don't know what I'm watching right now. Kick my brother in the ass. So it is a dragon apiece, but six scrubs. Kick my brother in the ass. Get pushed in these lanes that can always be so threatening. And Inspired is so much stronger than Umpty right now. Even though they are both level 8. Lucio is here. He's up 30 far. They're losing a lot of bots. You guys already talked about a couple minutes ago. That's up against a Bomby Cinder and a Ruby Crystal. Yeah, I mean, sometimes Jungle XP literally makes no sense to me. Where it's like, you're 30 CS up. How are you the same level? It's not even... Right, Mouse, we have Blade Ruin King now. What are you going to do, man? You base for this. You better fucking carry, man. Well, to answer Azale's question, yeah, Freak did this. Uh, then half of that, that is why it, one jungler is up 30 CS on the other one, and he's up like half a level. With six grubs, if you decide to drive the oh, this was even worse pre freak, no? So no, no, no. Catch up experience, bro. Yeah, I mean, catch up experience was a thing, but you were just way higher level, bro. Like, you actually got levels when you did shit, so like they could catch up, but you would be able to generate a lead. I agree on the notion that fucking not getting XP from lane minions sucks ass, man. I, I, this this is just. Well, I just don't understand why you're punished for like doing something that you have to do. Like your laner dies, you have to go collect the wave, but then you just get punished for it now. <sighs> What's the logic? Did he just miss that cannon that dry in front of my eyes? Really not. Uh, gold ahead of impact that happened way before freak no simply last year where jungle experience was nerfed and, no once you once you get multiple items coming in here for the olaf then get that the is the reason here. why and he does i decided play top lane so for like four months pretty quickly a strike breaker slow still good obviously it's not the old dash that used to be but yeah, there's way too many catch up i i talked uh really to somebody about it yesterday i was talking to rat about it Plus, the there's way too many catch up mechanics in league these days you just yeah. insta clear all the waves that's why like skill is no longer important in the game the most important thing is you have mental you keep a good mental jensen's just trying to get away but i don't know if it's gonna happen nice stun impact goes over the path maker flash out from jensen any flash it's really good from impact means he lives good pressure though from impact there so it's a trade then you get his flash that's fucking huge for the next five um on that ghost impact putting the pressure on but now it's a tp back from jensen which is going to mean impact has to leave yep meanwhile bottom side score jj this this olaf looks completely not threatening at all ragnarok out of him there as the dredge line would have sealed his fate otherwise gives apa enough time to burn down the turret pick that one up for themselves first turret of the game going over to tl trying to equalize some of that gold but jensen's about to get the same thing back up in the top lane yeah on the left side of the stream we saw that busio roamed up and actually pushed impact back so made him cancel his base he couldn't actually stop base tp back to defend that tier one because he gets shoved all the way back by that rumble they get two charges on that tower as well tier one and the tier two so the tier two gonna be i'm nervous of flag was for this coming talking drake man yeah no one else with him. Jensen's fed as fuck, but no flashes. Yeah, I mean, he just knocks inspired around a little Baffle. bit. Okay, it's a chunk, but without any backup, it's not a kill. Not it, it's gonna be interesting to watch. I don't see how realistically Olaf um, so much with can do much in such a fight. They're also late to the position, so. They're just giving it, no? Yeah. See if they can actually. Ooh. Oh, dodges. That was. Hey, okay, yeah. Inspired. Oh, the Poppy W. Wow. So but like aren't they giving this drake like they look so like, okay olaf went top without tp that means we're giving the drake no i feel like Maso should have been fighting there with them i just feel like they shouldn't be here at all like you're conceding it right so shouldn't you be playing full top side i don't look at Maso items they can easily win that though 4v5 yeah, so that's they, they why dropped he goes all back one HP. I don't know, bro. Uh, I think it's pretty hard. I think Impact will just fuck him if he gets close. The perfect equalizer, but there's just no one really there to capitalize on it. It's also support rumble, right? It's not going to be those equalizer damage levels that you expect from a solo. Right, look at my chat. I see. The first item fully completed. GG. JJ. Yeah, exactly. don't worry now. <laughs> I just see just a bunch of random fucking syllables. You know, you I know what they're trying to say. Rumble, but especially earlier on in the oh, game, you get that initial injection of so much gold. What are we doing? Be a real that oh, one yeah. knows, bro. Okay. Pops the ghost. Ragnarok now too. He's stuck in a one v three. 
Yeah, yeah, Raul, brother. Oh, you get out, man. Nice. Yeah, without Yon there at the start, they just don't have the damage. Ah, but why is he trolling like this? Like, I don't understand. And then you have AP on the Talia. That's basically all your damage, so. But right before an objective, an Olaf with no ultimate is not capable of fighting, especially a team with so much CC, so. By blowing the ulti, by blowing the ghost, they earn themselves. Has really have APA as a champ in America? Wow. Yep. Is showing why America is better than Europe by beating this European mid laner. No ulti, no ghost. He can't participate. One of the mm. best that European mid laners of all time. Really takes over is when you overestimate your damage. He survives. He pops a W, and he can run through these. This is what it is. Victory through a trap. I swear, if I read anywhere that the West is going to do well on the side. You won't even let people have hope? No, but. No hope at all? Oh, you're turning into that guy, bro. 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 Before I decide, all the players should go to Gillius' massage therapist to spread your cheeks. Yep. Get ready, man. <laughs> It's it's in China, by the way. Like you think you're gonna have time to boot camp or budget to boot camp? They're not even gonna book you, man. They never heard of you. Bro, when she pulls down my underwear, I know she's about to go down. <laughs> yeah, bro, same. They know that Umpty's still dead for another 10 seconds with this parenting. Bro, last time they did some crazy <laughs> shit. All right, we're punching. By the way, Umpty died, yeah? Umpty died, yeah? Yep. We're punching the Nash, yeah? Can yep. we do the combo, yep. yeah? It was a good play. I'm gonna fucking challenge Gumayushi. It was a good play. Little pick. Oh my god, Yan just murdered whoa, whoa, this guy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh, what happened here? Lord. Where's Whip, my stuff? That's GG, by the way. Oh, it's just... It's disgusting. That's how we lose? That's how we lose finals right there? No. Wait, Busio had, like, ulti, he had flash, ignite, everything, and that's how we yeah, lose? it's cold. Where was Whip? He was just walking around in a circle at the bottom. Okay. Oh, wait, Gilius, is this unhinged on the Holy Month? Bro. If you went through the Thai massage that we went through, it was crazy. <laughs> I did one. I gotta tell. I gotta tell my chat about the one last time. Look at this. Look how. So we. <laughs> we did it. We did Thai massage, right? So we're just doing it together in the room. And you know they, they make you get pretty much fucking butt naked, right? Like you're in your your underwear. They fucking pull down your underwear. They fucking start massaging your butt cheeks. They just go crazy, right? And then I look over and I just hear her laughing. And they did this thing with like Rachel, like she's she's literally she has no shirt on, she's just completely topless. And they have like her fucking her like hands like stuck to her head. She's she's like in like a fucking like like wrestling position, and, and she's just getting swung around, bro. The lady is just swinging her around, and I see one swing, and I just hear her whole back just go like her whole back just like it starts. It's all cracks while she's just being swung around. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I just started laughing so hard. So APA, hit them back with it. We'll see if FlyQuest can make anything happen. Try to turn this around. What? How is it so stupid? <laughs> she was just in a headlock. I look over, I see my girlfriend's in a headlock. There are hands on her head, and she's just getting swung around. Like, it was actually so insane. <laughs> Without it just getting stuck and you dying for free. <laughs> bro, they're different in Berlin, bro. There's like four people in the room. There's us two and the two massage therapists. It was so crazy. I've never seen anything like it. What the fuck, man? And we're going back this week, probably. potential. <laughs> <laughs> what? TL did hard commit to it, but they're not going to go for it. And TL again, like clockwork, they'll play through sidelines. <laughs> yeah. In the mid game, in the late uh, game. It was crazy. Pressured, they'll just slowly. Yeah, literally full Nelson just 
Everyone leaves mid, so what Swinging us around. They did the same thing to me, but they said, I don't know if I'll be able to do it because your back is hard like turtle. <laughs> they just said your back is hard like turtle. I was like, all right, man. Okay. And there's not much black can do about it. It put her in a full Nelson, 100%. Here for TL, up almost 4,000 gold now. Only 25 seconds left on that Baron. And pretty much the Baron power play and the overall gold lead for TL. Nearly the identical. Like, do you, do you, are you on your computer a lot? And I'm like, yeah. She's like, yeah, I can tell. Like, turtle shell. It's like, my back is hard like a turtle shell. Elimination game. Busio's in feeding. <laughs> Busio is actually just in feeding. Oh, he wants to lose. No oh, nice. And look at all the space he just made. Rose Uder higher out. Ain't no way, bro. You double W. He was stuck in W, perma. Wasn't yeah. gonna be able to survive, so they get the easy kill. And oh, Impact's losing it. Oh, he's had enough. He just wants another title. He's gonna wrap this shit up. Is it his sixth? Uh, okay, yup, number six. Oh, he's getting kidnapped, bro. Wait, he's just in feeding. Oh, never mind. He's the goat. Wait, is he the goat or is he in feeding? Oh my god, he's drifting. Whoa. Impact has that killer. Oh, okay. <laughs> that didn't sound like it at all. Bro. That didn't sound anything like Tokyo Drift. So what did she say? He watches some weird ass movies. Don't watch it, dude. Team Liquid wants to end this series right here. They do not have many minions to work with. The next wave coming now. So they'll back away. Uh, I worked all day. You won't even watch Casino with me. Oh, what is life? I will watch it with you, man. Bro, I've never watched it before. It's like one of the great movies of all time. Let's watch it together. Okay, you want to come to my bed, Gilius, and watch Casino with me? She won't? Yes. Okay, bro. Yo, yeah, guys, save these things for when I come, like. <laughs> you want to join in? All right, we're going to have a three from and you're not invited. Don't get jealous, brother. Yeah, don't get so jealous, <laughs> Rachel. Jealousy is haram, bro. Oh, your motto's joining in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't watch movies without letting my nuts hang. And you've also got to note, no flash on Whippo. No flash on Whippo. Yeah, you're not saying? Yon didn't even flinch. The guy didn't even respond. Why don't you go to Gilia's bed? Oh, my bed's better set up for the... It's such a heartwarming story for the game gang. Team Liquid squad yeah. too, with how much work that for they that. put in. The faith that they put in AP and Yon bringing up carry. Really is greater than Gurlius anyway. That's what I'm saying. So many years into them. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey, I don't I don't I don't physically abuse you. I only emotionally abuse you. Relax. Squad. Core JJ, as one of the main veterans too, has this renewed vigor and this renewed need to win the LCS. He said he wanted to win it more than ever now, and they're so close. Who's Rachel? Okay, Our girlfriend. Hit over the wall, but he'll be all right. Just disaster. Oh, a girlfriend. Yep. Coach, you know, was with Yon for his entire journey. <laughs> we have yes, a girlfriend. Oh, oh, chat. Him. Oh my God, that tickled me so badly. Holy shit. <laughs> Jumps. Oh my god. Like boys, if we watch a movie together, we all need to be in the wide position. <laughs> we just all watch in the wide position. <laughs> Ain't no way. Oh man. Bro, I don't know. It's been too long. We kept it together through most of the stream, but now we're just fully unhinged. Okay, Umpty's dead. Wait, it's right, actually winnable? Oh, fate's oh. cool. It's too Come on, Jensen. Wait, 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 wait. Look at that Tiberski. Tiberski. Oh, yeah, Jensen gets no. Wait, is it? Is it? No, it's not over. I think it's over. No, it's not. It's not. Can end? I don't think. They can go Baron, maybe. They can go Baba. But hey, APAW is just on click on these players. Yeah, bro. He's actually just. I mean, I don't know, bro. You can talk all this, this is shit. man. Realistically, APA was the best mid laner this weekend. Is what it is, bro. Rolled some people into blunts. That is so key because it's 
so tough to see FlyQuest winning a fight without killing off the Varus. He is so punishing at this point in the game. The initial setup was looking pretty good though. Masu and Whippo get in onto it back. Core is getting pushed back. They drop what is that back. rumble? But TLC will easily retreat back. And Terrible. then FlyQuest have to enter. Oh, he's got to put it on other people, man. He's not killing Cassante with that shit. And then he just stands next to the wall. Immediately tunnel onto Umti. He goes down, gets You don't even need a fucking DNA test for this shit, man. APA is the father of everyone, man. Just fucking. Yeah, he just, I don't know, bro. He's the goat. Straight out of their sex. In pushing out the extra wave, but we go right back to it. Inspired Ooh. a flash. A core JJ. All right, here we go again. Inspired, try Wait, his best. Leon and APA are just actually just the goats. They're just the best mid AD in the lcs we just have to accept it shout out to spawn coaching staff of team liquid no, their coaching, coaching staff is the best coaching staff for sure they just have everyone downloaded every time like you know what's crazy is everyone knows that apa is like only good on talia ziggs and asol and no one can do anything about it no one could come up with any plan about it in north america just, everyone just loses inspired move an inch and they're gonna be able to grab soul off this as well and then every team just they look like they can't play with the draft strategy with infernal soul once they secure this they have the baron buff they'll have a nine thousand gold lead plus the stats from the soul so call it 13 and they will be able to push here to try to end the game against flyquest who needs some sort of a heroic play to even stand the slightest chance. It's going to need to be a water into wine type of miracle for FlyQuest to hold the line here against the Baron, against the... Yeah, if TL beat G2 at MSI, I'll that has evolved so much make an OnlyFans. <laughs> okay. In this regular split in no way in hell, man. I don't know, bro. G2, I don't know. I can't tell if they're good. I'll be honest. I talked to Mickey today, bro. I asked him to his face. I'm like, are you just trolling? Are you good? Are you bad? Are you inting? What's happening? Like, he said, I'm inting a bit. You asked him this to his face? Yeah, bro. You outside? No, 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 no. Like, he, like, DM'd me. Oh. He said, I heard you were talking shit. And I'm like, I don't even know what's going on with your team. He said that he's a victim. Oh, nice. We got ads during finals. Nice. This top lane in here would be the first one they kill if they can push up and claim it. They've got two of the Baron Enchanted Cannon minions ready to go. FlyQuest scrambling to try to defend. The mid lane tier three also under pressure. Core JJ with the dredge line and all Oh, Bwibo just, he's done, bro. He's had enough. Still surviving for now. He's not going to get a whole lot done. Impact on the other side of the wall. He's just fine. As wow, that was just, that was a way to end it, bro. You can tell that they had enough. Boots you to safety. But what safety is even left? Dredge line ain't going to do it. And Team Liquid to the victory mark. Masu and Buzio barely getting away back into the fountain as Whippo tries to front line. Team Liquid. Mm -hmm. For the first time since GG. Let's hear your best GG. GG. The Korean cast, as they say, GG. They're after every single game. Like they'd say it in unison, like, casters, let's hear your best one. Let's hear your best one. What? What do you mean? No, you have to do it. It's content. Um, she's crying. Um, she's crying, bro. Always last place, no first place. God damn, bro. He's like, why did I not come to North America sooner? God, that was so bad. Jesus. Who are you? Who are you? I like how, how Impact is just like business as usual. Look at him. Everyone else is like emotional, they're smiling. In fact, it's like to pick up the fucking trophy. Let's leave. Yep. Pretty fucking based. Nah, Impact is just the goat, bro. He is, though. He's so fucking good. Alright, good night, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Alright. Good lads, yeah? All the best. Alright, peace, peace.
clutch factor in the top lane. Umpty setting up so much for the team in the jungle. APA beating the allegations yeah. in mid, having some pop-off performances for himself. And last, but certainly not least, such a step-up performance all playoffs long from Yawn. For years, Team Liquid has been trying to find a man to fill double lift shoes, and I think they fit pretty well on this guy. I mean, he was insane, I think, you know, for this team throughout all the playoffs. New kill record in the LCS through playoffs. Played really bloody games, was able to step up massively for them time and time again. And it's got to feel so vintage Damn. for this squad. Who went through it all, were able to come out on time. Wait, APA has a title. It's got to be Gordon. APA won a title before upset. There's no way, bro. APA, man. It's got to feel good. Trash talk to the very top of the LCS. Damn, Umpty. Hey, Core. Wait, how many titles is that for Core? Did he ever win LCK? He never won LCK, right? Yeah, I don't think he ever won LCK. He won Worlds? Chat. Yeah. Yeah, like... He won Worlds, he won LCS twice, and he won... Or twice before this, and now he's won it a third time. Working so hard to achieve this Umpty goal. Dumpty. You can't help but cheer for this roster. Incredible performance from all these guys. Team Liquid's got to be excited about this one. I can't wait to see him at MSI. Same. Uh, I can already visualize the all chat <laughs> <laughs> coming through. Well deserved. Oh, the impact the quote about Fudge, yeah. Everyone just disrespects Fudge, but for a reason, bro. I mean, the reason why people disrespect Fudge is like, Fudge has been winning a lot of titles, right? Like, he's won three titles in the previous three years before this. And the people that were competing against him just don't think that he deserves it. They're like, oh man, you win titles by like weak siding, bro. Like, you just get to like lock in Renekton and your team is just going to carry you because you have like Berserker on your team, you have Blabber on your team. So when they see that and then he's like now getting exploited and he's not able to do that people like to take shots because they just feel like he doesn't deserve the success he's had like impact hasn't won a title since what i mean i guess he won 2022 uh spring with eg that was his last title wait 2022 2022 how does it feel now finally getting another title yeah of course i remember that so nice i mean Oh, I not remember that. Like, it's nice. I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep hungry for the next win again. Why are you rolling your eyes and groaning? I know less than Why do I have that effect on women? They just roll their eyes and groan at me. It, it definitely feels so surreal to be a champion now. Like, I tried so, so hard this, this split in the offseason to get as good as I can, and I'm glad it paid off. Umpty. First split in you know what? I'm not even mad. Yeah, I mean, TL is just the best team in North America. Like, it just is what it is. Like, people, people said the same thing about NRG. Like, when NRG won, people were like, oh, bro, they're going to get destroyed. Like, oh, the region is so bad if NRG wins. And then, like, NRG had the best performance that NA had had internationally in, like, years. So... I don't I don't hate it, bro. Like they're simply the best team. We'll see. We'll see how they do. Hopefully they do well, bro. They're just the best team in our region. Like, they don't do well with shit. It's not like I'd rather have Cloud9 there. Cloud9 looked terrible. I didn't have any careers and everyone was ignoring me. Like kind of you're just only can do only only at the late, you're just bullshit or kind of something. And they called him bullshit at the late. He just said he said he said, Oh, you can only do early at the late, you're just some bullshit or something. Damn. Impact as well, sixth LCS title of all time. How does this one compare to the rest? You can, as long as you don't say something like, "How does it feel to win this?" Sixth you just like curse a couple uh, times. I don't. I just do my job, you know. Like, I didn't feel like that. Damn. To me, kind of easy that that game, my opinion. Like second game too. I mean, they're choking, you know. So like. It's so true. He's so based. Impact is so based. Just said. He just said. 
Because yeah, it's just easy. I just do my job. Like, they're just choking, you know? Like, so true. They are just choking. They they actually were choking. You could tell Bwipo just played under the level that he's been playing at the split. Dude, yeah, Impact is so cold. Nah, he's such a fucking beast. And he's a three-year sub. Honestly, the win is like nice, but it was because he likes to watch the, the, the stream and hear me flame everyone. They're, they're so fucking annoying, man. <laughs> like, their skill level was not as good as their egos, I think. They're, they're, is he like shaking? They're, like, they were talking too much shit. It's like, I mean, wait, is that scary? Honestly, I'm not the person to shit talk someone after I win, but my god, they would not shut up after they won. <laughs> If you guys wanna trash talk, be as good as this guy. <laughs> Damn. Damn. We're gonna hear more from the rest of Team Liquid. Damn. Kind of based. I like it. Hey, I'll take it, bro. Hey, they're, they're the LCS champions. They deserve it. the analyst desk lounge at the moment while you guys move it outside. So stay on the stream. Congratulations, guys. It's been an amazing year so far. Good luck at MSI. All right, that's it. That's it. PL1. PL1. They are the best team in North America. They are, yeah, obviously they qualified yesterday to MSI, but they're going to qualify as one seed, which means that they skipped the play-in stage. None of us. That was actually the one. Yep. Why? What? What? A chat can't see our girlfriend? What do you mean? What? That was crazy. What? I don't want to be on camera either. It's part of the job. What? You have makeup on. I don't have makeup on. I do. I do this just. I'm just a natural. Oh my. Oh, going offline. What the fuck? Like, what the hell? It, Eat for free. Yeah, exactly. How does Dom pull these no, women? No. That was the that I was talked the to her one. about Udir. Yeah. That's rage. That's rage. I impressed her with my turtle shell of a back. You can tell Yon was just storing it up. Emotional abuse. All right, that's it. Yes. LCS is over. Okay, I get to sleep tonight for once. We don't have to do like seven hours sleep or anything. No, no, no. I don't have to wake up until min uh, in midnight, dude. All right, so I'll be on for uh, Weibo versus IG tomorrow, and then LEC obviously as well. Peace. Thanks for watching. It's a good split of uh, LCS. Later. And just pounds FlyQuest. <laughs>